Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with a uh, uh, few people I found on the street. Is that a, am I a joke to you? <laughs> Maybe. Ass wipe. <laughs> All right. Now I'm looking at the next Final Fantasy VII thing. I feel like I'm missing some context. What the fuck did you just say? Oh yeah, apparently, I guess Power Wash did some like collaboration with Final Fantasy or something, because we cleaned the bar. And Midgard and Final Fantasy Seven. I don't remember what it's called. That was happening Holy. last stream. Holy shit, Discord stream is not having this. It looks fine on my end. It's... It's lagging to all hell on my end. Oh dear. Wait, there's something I must do. I gotta find a good spot. Are you gonna stab an orphan? What the fuck? Do you not know about Aerith getting stabbed? Actually, she's not an orphan, though, if I remember correctly. What the fuck are you doing? Bright. God damn it, Bright. 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 <laughs> it's a snake. That is not what a fucking snake looks like. As we all know, that was a very mal-shapen mace. We're mm. moving on from that. Look where bonk me. What the fuck? Oh. You want to see my uh, special power hatchet? No. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Splatoon. whatever. It's reverse Team. Splatoon. Team. <laughs> Eat it. Okay. I have a game idea. I have a really bad game idea. You wanna no. hear it? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so here's the game idea, right? Mm -hmm. Power wash simulator. But instead of having a power washer, you ha you just lick you lick everything clean. You can't even do that in this game. <laughs> That's why it's not Power Wash Simulator. It's it's Licking Wash Simulator. You lick I everything don't think clean. That's a game. The child is saying it's that they not. want to propose this as a game to make. Well, then make it. No. <laughs> but of course, this could be interesting. I feel like there's certain. I I feel like that's something that probably to a certain degree does exist, but we can't talk about it here. I feel like Chu knows about it. He always knows about it. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know how, but he does. He always does, and I am concerned yeah. about his well-being. Um, speaking of games, I found out earlier today that there's a game that's literally took things from Finest Freddy's, Poppy's Playtime, Benny and the Ink Machine, uh, Garden of Bon Bon, and Slenderman: The Rival, and put it all together in one game. Oh. Mm. And it is. I saw it for myself. Here's a thing I'm gonna take. Hatchet, you could never open the game. Because they so poorly optimized it that it takes 85% of your CPU usage. And GPU usage. Jesus! What the fuck? I'm guessing that's on good computers. Uh, a good definition. Hatchet is like, uh, try and open Callisto Protocol on your computer. <laughs> you saw um, how well that happened on mine. Um, yeah. Um, your computer would not handle it. And it, it's also... Uh, so... Here's the thing, in Finance at Freddy's, like, to do the, uh... For a full night on average is eight minutes and fifty-five seconds. You wanna know how long a night is in that game? Uh a, a full night? Uh eighteen to nineteen minutes. 
E. I also don't ask me about anything about Final Fantasy VII. I've never played the game. <laughs> huh. The only Final Fantasy game I've ever really played was ten, because it had all those summoning monster stuff. And I loved it. Actually, on the topic of Garden of Banban, oh, or whatever yeah. the fuck. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was gonna say eventually I will oh, stream God, it. Oh god, my internet's starting to fuck up, isn't it? I will eventually stream that Final uh -oh. Fantasy X, but I got other things I have to make up first. Mm. I thought you were gonna say hours instead of minutes, so I'll just be like the Arctic mostly night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was from book. But anyway, go ahead, Dragon, about Garden Ban Ban. Uh, um, yeah, on, on Ban Ban, um, I follow a few artists on Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're safe for work accounts, right? So they do another, they're, whatever. They keep, they keep, they have started a thing where they have turned uh, Chris, I think his name is Chris, the green fuck from Garden of Ban Ban, That's not into name. a fanboy. Chris is not his name. I don't know his name. I don't care about the game series. I don't remember his uh, name either, but that's not... I know for sure none <laughs> okay, of them are named name. Chris. It's not his name, but he's uh, like a neon green motherfucker, and they have forcibly turned him into a femboy. Oh, Hatchet might like that. I will not comment on this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I've already, I've already like messed with Hatchet about that. I literally sent Hatchet a screenshot from TikTok about the fact that uh, Ben Shapiro likes femboys, and I said, "You two have something in common." So we both messed with something to Hatchet today. <laughs> oh, it wasn't today. It was a while ago. It was, uh, a while ago, it was long enough ago that I forgot about it, and now I remember it again. I hate you people. You you can't hate me. You hate Ben Shapiro for having an interest that you also have. No, I hate you for exposing me to that fact. <laughs> How are no. you? How are you? <laughs> I have decided. I, it's, it's, al oh, sorry. it's already bad enough that I share a fucking species with that dumbass. But there is one thing I have decided for May. For the mm -hmm. first game, I'll be bringing back to, like, finish, because I forgot to finish it. It'll be Pokemon Insurgents. Remember how I randomized that? It just made it to all hell, where a gym leader could have a legendary. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think there was one time we, where the god of all Pokemon was on the enemy team. <laughs> That sounds fun. Yeah, but there's also another game I want to try out, along with playing it, is Pokemon Infinite. It's a game where you fuse Pokemon together. Like any and all Pokemon. And there's a... There's like a hundred and... over a hundred thousand different Pokemon you can have. It's like the same what? as any normal game, but you just can combine. But why are you fusing Pokemon? That doesn't sound ethical. Every... Actually, when if, if and when Bright plays that game, you cannot join the stream uh, if and when she combines Pokemon with Lopani and with Gardevoir. I don't plan to. There's one I want to combine, which is Polkia and, um, I think Butterfree, was it? Or, it was either Butterfree or Beautyfly. It's, what? what it looks like combined is that just take all of space, and that's what its wings look like, as Butterfly wings. That's so cool. It is so fucking dope, and I want it. Yeah. 
But I also I like... realized something cool, though, with that game, is mm -hmm. that I can combine any Pokemon with Shed Ninja to have the, so they can have Wonder Guard. Mm -hmm. You know, the most powerful ability. Mm hmm. You said that as if I would know anything about this. Wonder Guard basically means you can only be harmed by super effective moves. Oh. I flashbanged an alien. I heard something else, so I'm not gonna say anything. No, shut, shut up, up right. Right. <laughs> Fuck up. I'm sorry. And now one of my soldiers is being fucking strangled. This is not helping my mental thought. <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> Oh, it's not helping mine either. The type of alien machine that's strangling him has tentacles. Oh god. So a Japanese. I'm going to get the fucking. Robot. I'm, get, it, it, I'm like, getting. I'm getting the goddamn spray bottle. It it like wraps around the person and like injects a whole bunch of really gross mist into their throat so that they can't breathe anymore. Sounds lovely. It's re it's really fucked, yeah. So do you have to pay to have that done to you? Right. <laughs> no, they in fact do it without consent because they are attacking my soldiers. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what did I click on to? <laughs> Run. Hi, Jerry. Hi. I'm talking. I'm playing a game called X XCOM Enemy Within, and we're talking about the abilities of certain aliens in the game, and Bright's being a fucking pervert. All I, I, all I ask is if you paid for his services or if it was free. We're fighting the alien. <laughs> no. No, we do not pay the aliens unless you count bullets. Oh god, before I can't repeat that. Oh, uh, Hatchet, what did you think of my suggestion for a new nickname for Bright Baron? Oh, I didn't see it. I suggested that they be called the genetic donors. Also, Spoon <laughs> suggested they call be called human trash compactor. And then it got to the top I mean, of me being a Pokemon. Well, food called a bright shiny shiny. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they originally meant Pokemon, but they definitely went with it. But yes, the suggestion was made after uh, finding out what Bright's parents definitely purposely did to their mask. Yeah. Did you see that part? Yeah, Bright sent that to me earlier. Uh. Yeah, that image was definitely on purpose. There's no such thing as that happening to a mask by accident. Fucking China's panicking. Wait, whoa, what? <laughs> Where did We're that come from? About that video game. <laughs> I don't know. We're just talking about uh, parents. That, well, my parents are here, just like, oh, China's panicking. <laughs> Fucking China's panicking. <laughs> you know what? If we could just get China to panic by sending bright parents over, maybe we should do that. I think it I think it has more to do with the alien invasions. Oh, fair enough. 
<laughs> My parents Sir. already alienated. <laughs> Dear God. Why does it sound more terrifying with it echoed? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Is it just me, or when the, the scare bright thing echoes, it sounds like a mechanical roar or something? That's what I'm thinking of when I hear echoed. I've got to figure out why it does the echo shit. What not you? I find it really funny. Basically, the way that this game operates is uh, when you're not out in a field mission, you have to uh, allocate resources towards getting equipment and researching stuff. And... Uh, the, the organization that you're running is called XCOM, and it's based upon the funding of member nations. And there's a screen called the Situation Room where you can look at the general state of panic in the member nations. And if they get too panicked, they will withdraw from uh, the XCOM project. And if too many of them withdraw, then uh, it's game over. Damn. And as of right now, uh, most of the world, let's see, so the, the countries that I have been able to keep very calm has been Canada, Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Egypt, South Africa, Nigeria, Japan, India, and Australia. The only countries that are in more concerning levels of uh, panic are the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, Germany, and China. <laughs> oh, so you mean like most of the world's major powers? Yeah. <laughs> I've, been, I've been spending so much time helping Argentina <laughs> that I've left America out to dry. As you should. Fuck. Russia, <laughs> Russia, <laughs> Russia, and... Uh, Russia and France are in the critical zone of panic. Oh dear. Let's be real, France is probably always like that, and probably also Russia. That's just kind of how they are. I mean, honestly... Actually, yeah. France has been widely known to be very good at, uh, battle. And oh no, is... like... I, I, I think, like, the, the better way to, like... I think what's being referenced here is the fact that France has to be like one of the most routinely volatile places in Europe where there's just constantly certain levels of social agitation and uh, almost revolutionary sentiment among large swaths of the populace. Like it feels like every other year like something, like some absolutely massive protest sparks in France. <laughs> They're kind of like bye bye French. <laughs> Get them. Well, I feel like I don't, France. I don't want them to leave. I need their money. <laughs> Goddamn, average, wow, average capitalist uh, moment. Average capitalist moment. I'm trying to save the world here, and I need money to do that. Mm. I genuinely need money to fight the aliens. What are you gonna throw? What are you gonna do? Throw pennies at them, huh? No, I'm gonna use. I, I'm gonna use the money to pay scientists to research their technology, so we can toss their so technology at them. <laughs> So you're gonna throw pennies no, at the scientists no. and go work, work faster. Why do you use technology, you dipshit? <laughs> Everyone uses technology, dipshit. That came with being human. Of course you <laughs> use technology. It came free with your fucking your Xbox. Fucking... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, I can list. Right, I bet you I can list like three things on your desk that I don't even know if are actually on your desk, but are probably on your desk right now All that right. count as technology. Okay. Uh, paper. Pencils. No. Computer mouse. Tables. Headphones. 
my I'm, I'm not sure if you heard me, but I dropped my Dude, mouse. <laughs> why? I mean, it makes sense seeing what's going on on, sc on screen, but also, why? How the fuck did you manage that? Because uh, uh, you said mouse, I dropped it, so it wouldn't be Why mess. would you do that? <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, uh, the QWERTY system is actually technology. Uh, your keyboard is technology. Your Nintendo Switch is technology. Okay, that actually is on my desk. Same. I feel like if you don't have a fancy, like, setup for a TV, it's on everyone's computer desk because it's, like, the most convenient place to put it. Uh, dust is not an invention. Uh, it's just aggravating to deal with. I can play my desk. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm very dusty, okay? <laughs> I need to vacuum. I haven't gotten around to it. I fucking hate vacuuming. It's too loud. Deal with it, it hurts bitch. My ears. That sounded really mean. <laughs> Someday, right? Yeah. You will know what it means to feel pain. But extra pain. Actually, Wait. since Discord, since Discord came out with the fact that they're recording like everyone's voice call. Uh, hey, Discord! I totally don't burn down orphanages. I don't think there's any orphanages in the United States. Yes, there is. Yes, is there, there are. Yes, there, Wait, there are. are. Listen, our our adoption. And foster system is shit, but it's not that shit. I thought they got rid of them. No. <laughs> Tell me, child, are there orphans in America? Yeah, a lot of them, actually. Then, then we have use for orphanages. <laughs> I mean, they're not very profitable, so that's why I, got, I thought they got rid of them, is because they're not very profitable. <laughs> we gotta make money off these children. No, that's like, that's like, uh, yeah, that's why adoption in the United States is as fuck as the fuck as it is. And today on the Great Doctor Bright Show, we're going to be talking about slavery. Jesus Christ! How do no, we no, make no, no, no. money off of these children? No, that's child labor, which is, they're also thinking about reintroducing. They're uh, also in Tennessee taking away uh, marriage equality, which hey, is chopping down interracial marriage and interracial, uh, not interracial, inter, uh, like, Religion. belief marriage. Yeah. Hey, Dragon, did you know in your state they're planning on taking children away from, uh, LGBT children away from supportive parents' homes? It's a bill. You know what? I should talk to my therapist and change one of my responses on if... I think that's a little late. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten so, ran over the other day. So, Dragon, if you think about it, uh, you're fine. Your parents are supportive. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wow! Wow! I mean, you're not wrong, but wow! 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 I've been wanting to say that for so long. Why have you been that? planning that? <laughs> why? Why have you been sitting down and you're like, I, I know what, I know what I am planning to say to this child. Your parents never loved you. <laughs> Wolfram says, yep, Florida is hell. Brutal, <laughs> they just heard what I said. <sighs> Alright, everything's clean now. Lick it. Lick it to make sure it's clean. I mean, it totally doesn't also, say it only... 80%. No, no, it says 100%. Everything's clean. Right. No, 88%. Click 
I love watching this one frame per second Discord stream. Is it really that bad? Yeah. My eyes earlier today were blue and brown, and they are currently blue and green now. Are you Damn. a Pokemon? <laughs> I am not a Pokemon! Are you sure? Yeah! No, are you gay? Yeah! <laughs> no, How hold gay on. are you, Cherry? Dragon. Dragon. Jiri yes, is not a Pokemon or a Digimon. I'm not a Digimon. <laughs> Jiri, Obvious. are you a Tamagotchi? <laughs> I am not a Tamagotchi. Are you several homosexuals in a trench coat trying to pretend to be a I'm large one homosexual? I'm a homosexual in a pajama outfit. But how many homosexuals in pajamas? One! <laughs> Not my hunter over here! I like that. Never mind, let's just. <laughs> no, no, Jerry's not. Jerry's not several homosexuals in a trench coat. The Huns are several homosexuals in a trench coat. <laughs> I don't think. Tatachi would be that close with that many people at once. Oh, fair. Become a hive mind. Become Squidward in that one, uh... No! SpongeBob. I like my hunt's individuality! Good point. Are you, are you suggesting that broad demographics are not, in fact, a hive mind? <laughs> I love that sarcasm of yours. <laughs> Are you implying that all women do not have a conspiracy to not be with me? <laughs> we don't know. But... Oh my god. Gosh. Why did you sound so sad there? <laughs> I think Hatchet was making fun of certain individuals that think that way. Oh, go for are it. You, are you telling me that the incel forums are lying to me? <laughs> oh god, please get off of 4chan, please. Well, sadly, Penguin, Hatchet is right in that there are actual people who think that way, but they are funny to make fun of. <laughs> I agree with Hatchet, 10 out of 10, very fun to make fun of. Man, I wonder why they weren't loved as a child. Uh, they were loved as a child, I'm pretty sure. It's just some people feel entitled. Mm -hmm. Because they were taught a certain way when growing up, and they decided to hold on to it. Like, if you do this to a woman, you're entitled to something. No, that's not how it works. You're entitled to a better pay raise. <laughs> what? Well, that's different. That actually is something you should be entitled to. Yeah. But you're not entitled to women's affections if you just show basic human decency. Yeah, yeah. There are men who think that they're entitled to a lot of hoo-ha-ha-ha -ha -ha and affection of physical types just by being half-decent. Hello, yes. I open door for you. Does this mean we are dating? Yeah, yeah. These are the kind of people that Hatchet is making fun of at this moment, and I wholeheartedly agree. I think that kind of makes me an asshole, but I'm fine with that. It's I fine to be like... ass. Listen, it's the tolerance paradox. It's fine to be an asshole to assholes. Mm hmm. I feel yeah, like the you, only if you're tolerant to everyone, that basically lets the Nazis in. For tolerance to be achieved, you must be intolerant to intolerance. Yes. So Jerry, you said that the, uh, the German party win, right? Is that what you said? What? It, if you if you don't do that, you let the German party win. Yeah, and I will not let the German party in. I thought. I I thought you said that I would not let the German party in. What the and fuck I was are thinking you on, something right? else. Right. 
please, for the love of fuck, get your mind out of the goddamn gutter. I know you're cleaning up a lot of dirty shit. My but mind I will... is not a door for the, the, the German party. I'm, I'm gonna grab the, the fucking power washer from Bright's hands and I'm gonna use it on her brain and see if that cleans out her naughty, like, brain thingy. I have a feeling as long as Bright is an asexual trickster, she will always have that dirty brain. Wow. I like garlic toes. Garlic toes? <laughs> I like <No>. garlic toes. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not go around and lick, like, shoving people's uh, toes in garlic and then licking their toes like a fucked up looking rat. My favorite flavor is garlic toes. <laughs> I, got I wanted to say garlic toast, but I thought garlic toes would sound funnier. Nice is like a pot of garlic toast. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh, there's actually a an animal named Garlic Toad! Oh, dear God. Please. <laughs> what? Please send what it looks like. Please. I There's also now a mountain I various chicken. pictures. The first one, I think, is adorable because they're covered in dirt, and then I'll send more accurate ones. I send it to Bookworm. Who? Oh, I could just put it in dumb post. Bookworm's not in the server. <laughs> Bookworm is part of your server. No, Book they're not. Left. Yeah, Bookworm hasn't been in the server for like <laughs> a year now, probably. Wait, what? <laughs> if they're not part of the server, I don't know how to send it to them. Why aren't they part of the server? They left for a while. They, it's they, fine. Uh, they left for personal reasons, for like stuff, stuff and stuff. They said they'll probably be back at some point. But yeah, okay. we're not going to force them. They aren't in the server. Yeah. Well, like... Don't know how to send it to them. It, I could uh, probably copy it and send it to them. I'm friends with them. My friends with them? I need to look. <laughs> I rarely add people. <laughs> I have switched. Where's the god for so long? I thought you knew Jerry. <laughs> you think someone is spacey and not so, uh, Bright, I think I should give you a good example of how dumb I can be sometimes. Satachi told me their hometown in Japan was near a bamboo forest, and I asked, uh, no, not even that, I said, there's no bamboo forests in Japan. And I realized, I'm a fucking idiot. I was told by many people. Uh, that was stupid. There's a very quiet force in Japan. Bright. Shut up. That that is not what he was talking about. No. Well, okay, that's not really bad. But I was like talking about how the magnetic force there like just makes it no sound isn't present. I do want to visit that force because it sounds really cool. And I'll be respectful and everything. But like... Yeah, not like Logan Paul. Yeah, not him. Oh god. I won't film anything or anything. I just walk there by myself. I'm going to look up Garlic Toad on YouTube to see if I can get a cute video. Do they really look like that? Ch chunky, tiny, with red speckles? <laughs> yes. I switched to playing Sid Meier's original Civilization. I have I have a proposition, okay? No. Okay. Here's my proposition. We take all humans off the planet by 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 ship, right? Off off the planet by ship, by spaceship. Um. And we replace. Everyone with penguins. You would cease to exist. I can exist. think of a few issues with your plan. Mm. 
No, no, no. You see, everyone knows that all penguins are communists, so everything will be fine. Don't walruses do really bad stuff to penguins? Yeah. <laughs> but I said that the penguins would take over the world, not the walruses. I thought walruses were primarily in the northern hemisphere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bright's thinking of seals. Oh yeah, it was seals. I don't know why I thought walruses. Which, I told you that fact. I don't think I'm going to share this video, I'm going to look for a different video. Believe it or not, walruses are very different than seals. Did you know that Bright is a fucking idiot? I know that Bright's a bird. Go but fuck yourself. Here? Oh, no, you are bird. Hatchet. Tell them what uh, what I did for the monster thing that I sent you. Yeah, I was gonna... I was just about to uh, do that. So Bright sent me... I think it was yesterday. Uh, if my DMs will fucking open. Wright sent me... Uh, a just random thing where they said, I decided to do a monster test to see what monster I am, and it gave me this. And uh, it, it gave Bright the harpy. The universe itself is convinced that Bright is a bird, bird girl. That amuses me. How do you feel, Bright? Uh, I'll eventually retake the bird. test and have it give me something else. That's oh, not God. how that works. <laughs> What's Your wrong with being a bird girl? Your result, Harpy. The representative monster for the Harpy family that was the body of a bird. The representative monster for the Harpy family that has the body of a woman with big bird-like wings. It's the basic race that's most commonly seen among the diverse harpy family of monsters. This just feels like a word salad there. <laughs> their bodies are light and small for flying through the sky, spreading their large wings along them to fly freely through the sky. You sound so Most, of, most of them have bright cheerful personalities actively calling out to humans pacing through pa pass pacing pass pacing pacing passing okay? humans passing through mountain roads carrying people's baggage and so they also have good relations with humans and countries they have advanced relations with monsters it is said that they Run shipping businesses and they're even adapting to human economics and society. For a capital I'm pretty sure ancient humans thought uh, harpies were giant bird women that ate people and killed them. I'm and fairly confident that is the case. I believe so, yes. That also but, always had the parts. But this help. is. But this is. Um, this is, uh. Uh, like mo cute monster girl anime logic. Ah, uh, so now Bright is not a dangerous man-eating uh, monster, but a kawaii bird girl. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> I feel like the kawaii anime girl. It's def that's definitely more cursed. I'm sorry, like Bright, but I feel like you're too chainsaw obsessed for me to imagine you as a kawaii uh, anime girl. There's nothing very kawaii about Bright. I hate the fact that this conversation just made mm. me envision a version of like a harpy, except they're mixed with Denki from Chainsaw Man. And now I wish that I hadn't thought of that idea. Oh, oh is my god. Is that what you think Bride is? Or Denji. Is that what down. you think is? A chainsaw harpy? Okay, Harvey? before I say what Maybe. Bart said, uh, I did check out Chainsaw Man and I did not like it. It's not for me. 
Yes, sir. Damn. Who are you? Also, bookworm misspelled girl and, and typed grill instead. <laughs> Monster grill. Right. Right, everyone knows that you're you're everyone's favorite uh, monster grill streamer. Obviously. Which technically you are a monster grill because you are a robot with a mask. I have founded the city of London. Wait, is Burn it, term it is it a term Terminator a robot or an android? I never watched the movies. Uh, I think it's a robot. What's the fucking difference? Aren't like androids more like more sophisticated and superior to robots or something like that? I, uh, no, I feel is that I don't I don't, I don't know. know. So. I don't know. The I difference. feel like this. I feel like this varies from media to media. Right. Yeah. I am cleaning Chew's mess. They're no longer allowed in this room. The goddamn barbarians killed all my fucking soldiers. I feel like... I feel like Denji deserves a better life. Yeah. That little boy should not... Not little boy. That boy should not be going through that much shit at the age of 16 and 17. Ugh. I thought it was like longer when you said like because I've seen some of the chat, and I thought like it had been like spanning for a few years, two years. Yeah, no, that it's boy pretty... has been for like a year. Two. Oh, I don't have to worry about the about the child at all because I'm not watching anime. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so mean. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna make fun of Denji like that. He's just a little spoinko. He's been fucked up a lot. Oh, Chu says in DBC the androids are classified as complete robots, humans with cybernetic enhancements, and there are bio androids like Cell. I think it depends on Android whether or not they're superior to the robot or not. Like the type. We'll never know the true difference between how powerful or who's the most powerful, robots or androids. We'll never know. Mainly because I'm too lazy. Did also, you know? Brent ignored my unhinged barking and dog noises. Well, you're a mouse, so I wouldn't hear hurt you because you're too small. <laughs> you know, chews are like the size of a small dog, right? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, does that mean chew is a chihuahua? No. <laughs> Make sure I'm such a small dog to ass. Well, the reason I said it is because my character is 8 foot 5, so I'm taller than most people. <laughs> you would still be able to hear the sound of something that is the size of a small dog. <laughs> are you Not implying me, that? Are you implying that once you sprout up to a certain size, you can no longer hear things that are under three foot tall or some shit. Really like this what she is really Maybe. Actually, Chu, since you're in chat, fun fact about Splatoon. Uh with with the wave breaker you can literally like pick it up, uh when you you hit like the stick to bring it up after you charge your special. You can just run around with it. It doesn't have a timer that goes down. You can just run around and go into squid form with it. JFK! Oh god. Oh god, no! 
Oh god! I'm about to do some hate this oh, shit. Oh, Borkum's delayed. Apparently, they, they they just saw Choose message for what he was replying to the small darkness that should be. If you look at Ash's Pikachu in the anime, that is pretty much how big I would be in real life. Hey, Adorna. Hi, Adorna. Now the whole group's back together. I don't think this is everyone, but... And my suffering. Oh yeah, we don't have... We, have, we, we, don't, we don't have the chew -woo. We technically have they're, the chew. They're interesting chat. And bookworm too. I don't think we have lazy though. JFK killed me. I thought I was gonna be what the one the killing fuck? JFK. <laughs> but JFK killed me. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh, bro. I'm playing Splatoon, okay? <laughs> and just all of a sudden, JFK killed me. <laughs> okay. Child. Real. <laughs> For real talk, are you aware that saying I'm playing Splatoon, okay, does not, in fact, give any context for <laughs> what you just described, <laughs> considering the fact that Splatoon has fucking nothing to do with former U.S. presidents? <laughs> yeah. Someone is named JFK, yeah. and they're in the lobby, and I thought I was going to kill them a lot because, like, you know... The funny haha -ha name. Um, and they killed me with a booyah. They are. Kang is super sane. <laughs> Dr uh, choose a <laughs> stupid kid. <laughs> Fuck you. You're. you're and when sure. you play Splatoon, you are also a kid because you're an Octoling and a kid at the same time. Congratulations. Child. Child, you couldn't even. You couldn't even. You couldn't even snipe. You couldn't even get JFK. Fuck you. I'm not even using a sniper, I'm using a machine gun, they're different. Can we get it with a machine gun? Oh my god. My machine gun doesn't reach as far as a sniper. Also, my game's lagging, because my internet's being kind of shit. Uh, machine guns are a lot easier to kill with than a sniper. Uh, hello, Mr. FBI this. man. I hope you're not listening to us. <laughs> JFK is already dead in real life. I don't know what the fuck you're on about. <laughs> you're talking about killing president. I... Oh man, that wasn't JFK. And I also died after killing that bitch for like five seconds. What wait, the wait, fuck wait, is wait. Going on? wait, wait, wait. So, so, so we're gonna get put on a list because we're talking about um a historical event. We're, we're talking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that that happened before I was even born. Before I was even like my my creator was created. Why is there a goddamn hole in my crotch? You were born before <laughs> you were born. Okay, never mind. My I pants. Never mind. <laughs> oh, hello, Chew. Hey, Chew. Wow. So I could have just lived in here for hours, and you guys never would have noticed. Yeah. yeah. Noticed you? I literally okay. said hi, Chew. I, I was the first one to say it. I should have jump scared you all. You wouldn't have no. done anything. You wouldn't have. You would just put you us to sleep with your soothing me. voice. Two, I noticed it when you joined, and then I waited until like we were stopped talking to acknowledge your joining. I'm yeah. declaring. I'm de declaring war on America. Why? <laughs> because no, that would that would get you put on the list. Well, you you see, I am Britain, and that felt like the most reasonable thing to do. Hey, okay, what? dragon! Yeah, oh my God. The British really hold grudges. When you mm -hmm. talk about being born before your creator, Bokum says be born before God. What are you gonna say? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jfk was assassinated even before my birth giver was born. So, actually, my grandpa. Okay. You do know that it would it would be funnier if you actually if like. It would be yeah. funnier if you had said yes to that, right? <laughs> I mean, it would, but yeah. also like I want As to explain it. 
as is a very well known fact, the Christian God came into existence in the early sixties. <laughs> so wow, the, wow, the Earth is even younger than we thought. I can't believe Ronald Reagan existed about the same time that the Christian God came into existence. He had already been filmed next to a monkey by then. Ooh, banana. Damn. Oh god. Oh god, my internet's being really bad. I have oh, no god. idea what this is, Chu. You you talked more about Final Fantasy VII the other day. What the fuck is this? Is this from Final Fantasy VII? I believe so. I think everything from this pack was from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that is for... Final Fantasy Let's see, the Shinra building. I'm pretty sure that's the, um... Mm -hmm. The, uh, the uh, place. The place with the people mm -hmm. and the stuff. Good job, Shu. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. It's on my backlog. I have. I have become bored playing as the British. I would think so, because they're They'll not play as the excited. Germans that's, next. That, that's Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I will not be Shut the fuck up, right? I mean, the British are pretty boring, inherently, so... Eh. Also, Bookworm, I am scary. Fear me. Grr. I, I will make more unhinged dog noises in chat. How are you a mouse making dog sounds? My character can talk, what do you mean? <laughs> well, so can Meowth. Meowth doesn't make dog sounds. Well, because Meowth is boring and lacks imagination. And he You lack imagination. I feel like my semblance of the bullshit that is IQ is currently being rapidly sucked out of my brain. What took you so I long killed... to join the club? I killed Joe Mama. Someone named Joe Mama. Why did someone kill, uh, call give me lime kill? I'm not gonna give them a lime. Also, two people disconnected, so now it's just give me a lime and Yo Joe Mama on the enemy team. And they're still playing. Oh, someone on our team disconnected. What is happening? It's Yo Mama, give me a lime. <laughs> no, it's Joe Mama, like Joe Biden, the president. Or is it? Dark Brandon? What? Wait, you've never seen the Dark Brandon meme before? No, I've, I've heard of the Dark Brandon meme. But I have never actually, like, I've only seen like one or two. So many yeah. tight spots. There we go. Do but three people that match this. the tighter nozzle. What was that, you? You might want to use a smaller nozzle so you can get up and smaller spaces. We get all the... I said. We are. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, am I the only one who thinks that people are trying or I'm not saying that. That she was trying desperately to not make innuendos right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking Oh. Uh... <laughs> you didn't realize Hey, what? Why would I? I'm uh, just watching the gameplay while me? pretending to continue schoolwork. And Nerd. I'm actually doing the schoolwork. Nerd. Shut up, Penguin. You are literally DMing me with Splatoon music. Wait, you should you should actually listen to that Splatoon music. It's actually really good. It's a, I don't it's a wanna... good demo. No. Please? No. Just because you said so, they're not going to do it. Please. No. Please. No. Why? Because I don't really care that much. 
Do you not? Do you want to know what it actually is? I mean, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me anyway. It's it's the normal song, but it has Among Us added to it. Yay! Oh, sorry. I think that was Fortnite that you were just referring to. Uh oh. Oh well. Can you hear the enthusiasm, Dragon, in my voice? You yes. always sound dead inside. I oh, can't genuinely tell. Well, I kind of am, so... Damn. I, I guess you haven't heard them when they're around Momo. Or Asher. Sure. Damn, Chew, you should really get a life. You know, no, Chew, out of spite you because you said you use a smaller nozzle, I am not going to change my nozzle the entire time the stream. I mean, in this case, the one you have now actually works, so... Okay. And that sounds like it's going to be more of a pain in the ass for you than anyone else. <laughs> like, as a result of you asking me to do something, I'm going to punish myself! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my god, yeah. Bright's acting That's like right. the fucking stereotypical, right. like, conservative. What? Okay, no, because, okay, you're, I know you are not a conservative, but for so whatever reason, conservatives like making things difficult for everyone, including themselves. They enjoy making a life a living hell for everyone, including themselves. Just in general. Like, there's like a concerning amount of conservatives that are like trying to get rid of uh, marriage equality, which could also put like interracial marriage at risk and shit. Um, and, and they're in, like, some of these conservatives are in interracial marriages. Bold of you to assume that they care. Oh, wait, Jiri, are you still here? Yeah. Did you hear the thing about Florida? Which one thing about Florida? About how they're passing a bill that they're gonna take uh, LGBT kids away from oh, support that's parents. Old that is old hat. I know about that already. Yeah, I learned about that today. It, like right, fucking we... legislation has been rolling out so quickly. That's something that like I started seeing articles about maybe early in the week is now old hat. Yeah, Bright, we are, all of us here are like very politically involved online. I, I am not. Almost, almost to a Right, as a trans legit. person, I feel like you need to at least be a little involved, especially since who knows when your existence will be made illegal in your state. I feel like Virginia is a relatively safe space. You say that now. Well, there goes the sentence I was saying, so I already forgot. Sorry. It, and everything was fine in Virginia until the Republicans attacked. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> go, go, go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. In that moment, we knew. In our hearts, Virginia was a pen. Humanity, cattle. I need to make a Crunchyroll account so that I can watch the uh, AOT thing. Nerd. So, uh, I can't wait until the. Oh, I cannot wait until the dub comes out. If Tsunami doesn't air, oh, I'm gonna be surprised. Oh wait, uh, Bookram has some information. Uh, not really. Virginia was a hotbed of the CRT propaganda last year. Uh, I love using CRTs to play my old, my older video games. Well, poo. The reason why I said Republicans attacked is because my Republican governor took out, uh, Martin Luther King Day and Barack Obama out of history books in Virginia. Oh my fucking god. 
Yeah. Yeah, the tracks. <laughs> Perfectly normal country. Perfectly normal. Nothing weird to see here. Pay no mind to the book burnings. <laughs> No, because the fact that my state is actually doing, like, book bannings and the fact that, like, all of my teachers right now are walking on fucking eggshells because they have to check everything that they're going to show to their class with the state to make sure that it's not too, quote-unquote, woke and is allowed to be shown. Can you ask for Harry Potter books to be banned? Um, Dang. Wait. Now's Tempting. our chance. <laughs> Now's our chance. No, because conservatives did back in the day, when like the books first came out, banned them because they supported witchcraft. That's tempting. That's so nah, the real, No, nah, the real thing you've got to do is obviously go the satanic temple route and start pointing out that you know, maybe Bibles shouldn't be in schools because they contain way worse shit than any of the literature that they're banning. Oh yeah. Actually, in my state, you're not allowed to bring a Bible to school. Fair. Because it's a separation of church and state kind of stuff. Basically. Oh, wait. True, schools and state. School, uh, schools so and churches, sorry. So, wait, do you mean... When you say you're not allowed to bring it to school, do you mean you're not allowed to teach it in class? Or do you just mean you cannot carry one into school with you? Both. I, I don't that like that second funny. one. The yeah, second one is... That is unironically not cool. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cringe. Not being allowed to teach it is... Not being allowed to teach like, it is fine. Bad. Not being allowed to teach it is fine. Mm -hmm. But being told you cannot carry religious text on your person within a certain space is not okay. Yeah. But also, who the fuck brings an entire Bible with them to school? Uh... Have you... Uh, uh, have you ever been to a rural school? Um... No? Yeah. Yeah, Bookworm just said pocket Bibles exist. Oh, good point, yeah. I've gotten multiple pocket Bibles at, like, my school. Mm. I didn't know yeah. that. Actually, no, I think I've seen po pocket Bibles. I still love some of my, like, some of my favorite, uh, like, bits of activism I've seen is just people doing, like, little trolls on conservatives. Where, like, you have people doing a fucking, um, uh, got it. Burn. Now we get you to see me a... run around. Here we go. You have people doing a, uh, pro life march, and a guy just walks right up to someone carrying a banner, and it's like, hey, so do you think that God is pro life? <laughs> guys like no. obviously like well yeah but the christian well yeah but the christian says uh yeah i mean yeah because i mean obviously because they always contort their perspective of what their god's will is being whatever their dogma has them believing and then it's just like the simple comeback of didn't god like kill all of humanity and noah's flood he was well, he was feeling yeah, a but, bit uh, silly. He, he was just goofing, you know. He was um trolling. He, he was trolling just being a, he was just being a little wacky that day. Didn't, it was a wacky Wednesday. Didn't he was God, being a little spoingo. Did, didn't God at one point cosplay Aaron Yee? <laughs> oh yeah, I made sure to buy the yellow one. That way, I looked like a guy from the back room was hatching. Very Why good. are you in the piss suit? Oh yeah, by the way, at some point here soon, I'm probably going to have to uh, go to get my mom a rub. Okay, that's mm. fine.
Oh, it looks it like I only have one level left. It like, really is oh. a shame that, uh... I, do, I really don't think the back rooms is that scary anymore. That's fair. Um, especially since, like, a whole bunch of, like, little kids got their hands on it, and now they just add whatever the hell to it. it it's, it's a little suckish. Hey, look, it's my father. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Chew. 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 No. Don't. Don't do that, please. I love you, Do it even more. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Okay, so I came up with like headcanon jobs for the agents, right? And I need to know if these make any sense. Okay. No. Someone help me. I want to talk about Splatoon. Fuck you. <laughs> and you know a lot about Splatoon. They look up to you, Chew, so you have to answer them. That should never be a thing that anyone does. <laughs> it's not looking up to, it's I want to talk about a mutual interest that we share. I, just, I think the whole concept of looking up to people is fucking dumb. Yeah. Unless you're like an actual child. No, for children too. No, no, some kids, like, really young kids, if I remember correctly, like, looking up to people, like, help, helps them, their brain develop. The one person I looked up to, uh, I don't think I should mention. One of your parents? Admin Bright. Oh. Uh, uh, why would Bright look at, you know what, I'm not, no, I'm just gonna sit would... here. Bright. Rule one of the internet. No one on the internet. No random celebrity on the internet are your friends. None of them are your friends. Never look up to them. Alright, I'll look up to Chew for now on. No. Have you? Okay, Bright. I have not. Wait. Bright does not know my personal history. Don't do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure she does. Who is a wanted criminal? No, he is. I'm a wanted criminal in all 50 states in the United States. How... how are you today? <laughs> You're gonna say shit like that while live streaming, and earlier you were making... <laughs> earlier you were bitching and moaning about us talking about the assassination of JFK, a historical event. <laughs> My grandpa saw that. Right? You, you, you've sent me things saying that you want to, like, you want to, like, work, like, work with other people. G yeah. Guess what? You're going to have to, like, stop saying stuff like that if you're going to work with other people. Yeah, I know. Hey, federal agents, it's these guys right here. I'm not involved. I've never met them. <laughs> you're talking to us right now. They forced me to get into the voice call. <laughs> Wait, how? It's, it's all true. I have a gun pointed at you. It's it you to be in this voice call. Can't wait for the FBI to knock on all of your doors. You think they won't knock on yours? Do you think I own a door? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you think you I think have they a won't door? Just, you think they won't just barge in through the door frame? through the window, they will Look. hover a helicopter above your house, get on the rope, and fucking swing in like Donkey Kong and just start smashing shit. They... <laughs> you, think, you think they won't 
rent a forklift <laughs> for the day. <laughs> you, you think I live in a house, motherfucker? I live in a box. Yeah, which is why they're gonna get the forklift to move the box into the ocean. See ya. They will pour water all over the box. Wait, why would they? Why would they need a forklift to do that? I am. I don't know. Because our forklift lives certified. I, Hell I don't yeah. know. They're the FBI. They're inefficient, <laughs> like ninety-nine percent of the time. What do you want from me? They're inefficient barbarians with zero Here. brain cells. Like, fucking, the FBI is pretty much just legalized mercenaries. That's kind of all. That's law kind of just the military. Yeah, that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all law enforcement, and yeah, all military. Every country. Not to mention that literally exists. Like, there are actual like uh, private security companies, quote unquote, that act as mercenaries like that. Uh, like, we actually do have, like, the U.S. actually does, like, do that, like, hire mercenaries. Quite a bit more than you think. You do think. Literally, some of the biggest uh, human rights violations in Iraq were done by said mercenaries. Go to bed. Go to fuck to sleep. But okay, before I go to sleep, I have to. I have to read a one one fan fiction that I bookmarked no. on Ao3. That's oh, no. that's, no. that's no. Agent Twenty. Uh, that's Agent Eight X Agent Three because I they are my little no. spoinkos. No. 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 I want to no. read about exactly. my squid lesbian. Exactly. No. No. My squid no. lesbian. No. Let me no. enjoy my squid lesbian. Oh, You're squid not allowed to no. enjoy things. You can enjoy your Fuck squid you. lesbians elsewhere. No, because when I wake up tomorrow, I have to finish my my Spanish project about Argentina. Why aren't you doing well, that then. now? Well, then add squid lesbians to Argentina and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> and she would be a terrible teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Okay, before um, I go to bed, I, I have I, to make an edit of that. I think, I think that would possibly be a good teacher for the. That's. I. I I would be a terrible teacher. We're aware. Especially since you hate children. That is correct, yes. Which is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. I already know I'm cringe, but I've accepted it, which means I'm free. This is freedom. No one is free. We are all oh. fucking trapped under capitalism. What the fuck are you on? You uh, don't chew. get the joke. Hatchew, do you get the joke? Chew. It's a cow meme, isn't it? No, it's another AOT meme. Uh, y'all need to stop being nerds around me, cause... Hey, I'm what are you nerds. doing? What the hell are you talking you're, about? You're He's, trying uh, to read fan fiction. Every one of us are nerds. <laughs> Even you're a nerd! I'm going to be a nerd. I write so much fan fiction. I write so much lesbian fan fiction. That has to Dirty be. Dirty lesbian. That has to be one of the single most hypocritical statements I have heard <laughs> in my fucking life. We are all nerd penguin. <laughs> Where did you pull your fucking brain out of? I live in Florida. That's there. Oh, so probably the dumpster. <laughs> oh, wow. No, out of, 
No, out of the Everglades. Duh. They, they obviously pulled it out of some random alligator. My brain is full of mos mosquitoes. Oh, well, like, pulling it out of an alligator like would be better than got it from a worse place from all, than all those places combined. Their mom. But wait, if it were an alligator, I highly doubt it would still be in one piece. I'm pretty sure alligators can no. uh, digest bones, can't they? Don't tell Luffy about that. So. Oh, I, I, I thought you meant from, like, the alligator itself. Okay. But still, that's better that than would... it being from... I no, that's not better than it being from the dumpster because the person who got eaten, the person like who got eaten would be more. Yeah. I don't like what I've started. I'm also, vetoing this conversation. You have also, started a movement. Okay, also, well, Penguin, you, you, you are can't very lucky. What you, started. you are very lucky. Chu was starting to get the mouse like urge to stuff you in a locker for being a nerd, but then Bookworm stopped me with headbands. <laughs> but okay, I put it in dumb post. I also put some things targeted at right uh, in dumb post, but. No. Argentinian no. lesbians. Chu. Hmm? You were literally gonna be like Flash from the new. Like Spider-Man, uh, like movies. Just the nerd bully bullying a nerd. Who the hell is? F oh wait, that guy. That fucking guy. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Argentinian. There we go. Deal with that. Are you joking? What? Are you uh, uh, Tell me you're joking. Well, I don't know what you mean. I uh, do you... Do, can you spell Argentina? Yeah. Because that's a huge part of it right there. Two? I am fucking tired. Everyone, um... I have to go for the time being to give my mom a rub. I will be back don't whenever I'm right. back. Don't okay. leave us alone with the child. We don't want I'm, to be. I Which am one? Going to go to I would sleep. much rather go give my mom a back rub and watch Attack on Titan than deal with this right now. <laughs> that is fair enough. I don't think Chu hurt me. No, Either way, really. I will be back. When he said, uh, don't leave me with the child, I said, Which one? There's only one. <laughs> Well, to be fair, Bryce is are... considered a child mentally sometimes. Damn. Shots have been fired. I don't care. Bright, what is your what is your response? I am a child. Alright then. Oh in that case, so I need to take away one of your Discord rules from you. <laughs> no. Actually, I, I no, you're mentally a child, not physically. She's a full-grown woman. Actually, for now, with that, with that chew, you should. Right, you can't more. reverse age. Right, right. That argument of being able to reverse age has been an argument used against trans people for like actual, like a decade by now. Exclusive. <laughs> Right, as I mentioned in DMs, eventually you're gonna say something to get yourself cancelled, and then you're gonna ask for help, and then I, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stare at your DM. I may not even answer. I will just stare at it. I feel like, with all due respect, right, you should probably actually start thinking before you speak. Which I know is ironic for me to be saying that, but like... Yeah, very, very ironic for the child who literally doesn't think before they speak. And Children it's multiple think. times. Wow! <laughs> actually, I think a lot, but that's not because of the fact... I, actually, I think a lot, um, for many reasons. That's dangerous. It's not dangerous, I'm just probably autistic. Oh, you're definitely autistic. <laughs> <laughs> that can be so, <laughs> so rude. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
Damn. <laughs> At Damn. least someone sees it. Oh. Someone gets it. No, oh, I'm like... not even... That's not even something... What? That's like a diagnosis <laughs> that I actually kind of want, or at least tried to get, because I'm... I need to have... Because I'm, like, 95% certain I am autistic, but no one fucking believes me. And it's like, what? Ah. You gotta dirt his belief. Also, no, Adirna, I will not do that. Adirna what? Looks... Oh. I, I am what? not... I am... I am not setting up one of those, um... Uh, confession things for my Twitter. No. You shall. What if I no. did it? I don't feel like you should do it, right? Because you're gonna see some fucked up shit. I just control for like, like if you're not like comfortable with like getting like, like, I see your community is pretty much fine for the most part about that, but like, yeah. Community? What community? I don't have a fucking community. For now. No, I'm talking about Bright. Oh. Uh. Bright's not yours. Mm. I like to imagine that Adirna has, has just looked to me in the eyes and has went, Autism! <laughs> like, just like that, like, quote unquote. Am I mean, just like that cat? Oh, that dog? Sorry. Yeah, like the homophobic dog, but it's actually just. I know just... what you are. I am so tempted <laughs> to uh, go to my ADHD screening with the symptoms of ADHD that I have, along with autism and see if they can help, even though I feel like that would just lead to my birth giver, be, uh, birth giver being even more racist. What? Should we ask how racist they currently are? Oh my gosh, uh, I can open this. Oh shit. Oh yeah, my yeah, god. Oh, right, so it's bad. a cannon. Why Jeez. wouldn't you be able to open a cannon? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's actually a good From question. From 1 to 10, how racist is your mother, Penguin? 50. Um, yeah, no, Bright heard what it is. Yeah, I feel like 50 is a pretty good thing. Uh, I don't know if I should say it on stream, because it's... It's not good. What You can she's... DM me what they said. Okay, I'll, I feel if like it, I already said you the stream, it, it's better to just PM it instead of saying it. Where is it? Where are DM you? DM me too. In fact, it's probably too guys to say it out loud in the Discord, even if it's quoting your mom, since you are not old enough to post in triggering topics. Chu is too um, emotionally drained and too, let's just say, experienced to be phased by it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Eh, it actually oh. helps, because it means you. I don't fly into a fit of rage. That's fair. Sad, but... Sadly, because of moving, I don't really experience racism like I used to since nobody knows who my dad is. Oh. Wait, sad like? As in... I don't mean I miss it, I just... I think my brain is dead, so I worded it wrong. Okay, cool. I think it's more like sadly because I experienced it at all. Oh, okay. oh right. I see it the last parts for the air cushion that you're missing. It's inside of the, um, the little crevice right there towards the front. You can Considering... Say, yeah. okay. Considering oh. how white I look... I'm not even sure why there were people who managed to be racist against me where I used to live. I mean, I guess they find a way? I shouldn't say it like that. Racism finds oh. a way. 
Well, like, no, that's pretty much it. Like, a... It's... So... It's a thing where, like, you're... You're not fully white, so they see you as being... Like... I got a mix of things when I was growing up. A mixture of... You have anger issues because you react to people trying to beat the shit out of you or bully you. That's your fault. And a mix of, oh, you're part Blackfoot, that must mean you're magical. So I both got the angry Native American stereotype and the magical one. And I was also told by multiple kids in, you know, less blunt terms, that I was either too white or not white enough to be part of their friend group. Oh yeah, that's kind of like a thing with like being, well like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of one of the like, hard things about like being, like more connected with your like, I think, yeah, more connected with your, like, cult, your, like, culture, if you're, like, in, if you're, like, uh... I'm actually not connected to my great-great-grandmother's culture at all. I'm pretty sure they tossed away their own culture after getting married. I have no idea, because I never met her, and I know basically nothing about her. She married a guy who was best friends with Buffalo Bill. They had my great grandma and she was an awesome person. I heard she was an amazing shot, but I never saw her use a gun, which is probably a good thing to be honest. Who wants to be in a situation where they see their great grandma use a gun? Not me! I can, sh I can show you how to shoot a gun. Right? right. No. I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> also, my dad did teach me how to ride a horse. And he knew uh, when we were at the the ranch place where they uh, filmed the episodes of... Oh, Jesus, fuck. My brain is so dead, I forgot that show. He used to be a really big fan of Bonanza. They're... Uh, at the old Bonanza Ranch before it was ripped down for uh, for making a ski resort. Yes, let's destroy history for a ski resort. Uh, anyway, uh, I found out he was more of an expert in horse riding than the experts hired by the ranch. That was awesome. I am not an expert, but I know basics. I've heard of horse before. Nice. I refuse to get too close to animals. Though, if if someone were to ask me, do I want to ride a horse, I would have to say no. I cannot think of a reason as to why you would want to ride a horse unless it was to get away from something. Yeah, to go to Mexico. Hello. Some of my spiritual family what? jokingly call me a Disney princess because of my connection with animals. Are you a Din are you a Disney princess? I am not a male version of a Disney princess. I You're not like Cusco. I am not Cusco. Am. You no, know, I'm actually, I'm actually related to the, um, the, uh, the lady who did the voice acting for Yzma. That's that is awesome. awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's so fucking cool. Nice. Also, I would like to point out, it's not hard to get along with animals, especially wasps. Wasps are actually very nice. Uh, yeah, just make sure you did not piss off the murder hornets. Well, only an idiot would purposely piss a wasp off. Do you, you want to know some interesting uh, facts about murder hornets? 
Oh, harness! Oh, those are very, very less friendly than... You want to know some interesting facts? Murder hornets have photographic memory and will tell their entire colony if you piss them off. Oh, Jesus. They will wait outside your door for days to get revenge. Nature... Nature wants... Every, nature just wants us dead. You can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> That's why I say don't piss off murder hornets. The, the ocean alone is proof that nature wants to kill us. Oh, oh, Penguin, I just saw the, the, the DM. Yeah, that was probably good to not say out loud. Oh, yeah. here's another interesting fact about murder hornets. Yeah, well, if, here's another fact. If you leave an air pocket, like, it, even the size of a centimeter for a hornet, and, and you have it, its whole body be submerged in water, as long as it has that air pocket, it can survive for a week. So what you're saying is, put the murder, the murder hornet in a plastic bag, fill it to the brim with water, and then just leave it. Yeah, but it'll still that... live for an hour. Oh wait, an hour? An hour? That's all it'll take? Yeah, That's I all... think so. Like, if, I... if it doesn't have an air pocket, but if it has an air pocket, it'll survive for a week. Oh, I've forgotten things for a week. You can also put it in the freezer for it to die faster. True. Or the microwave. Either work. Then you can have a, a murder hornet popsicle. Oh my god. <laughs> you could. Oh, wait, that could be like instant. Um. I know it doesn't count, but it's that's pretty much just instant amber. I don't think that's what that is, too. I know that's oh, not okay. what amber is. I was making a joke. Chew. And Dragon's terrible at getting jokes. Confirmed. I I'm should just have the sign every time anyone says, It's a joke, why don't you understand? And it all it says is, Potential autism. And... Smack it. Every time. But I feel like if I did, every time, I would have my hand constantly be red from smacking it so much. Uh, here's another fact from Zanju. Uh, insects can breathe through their skin. I hate that. I hate <laughs> oh, yeah. that a lot. Oh, yeah, I, I actually knew that already. I hate that. <laughs> oh no, I have I have something even better. Did you know that you frequent you you will frequently swallow spiders in your sleep a lot and I thought not that even was a know it. I thought that was a myth. I don't- I don't know if it's a myth. You- it, That is up for you to decide, and then you can just tell me, so that I can know whether or not to sleep with duct tape over my mouth. You could that's probably die like doing way. that. Yeah, that's like a good way to asphyxiate yourself, I hope you know that. I have a nose! <laughs> Chill. I have a if nose. You... If you do like you okay, so you know how you sometimes like throw up in your mouth a little bit, but then you swallow it. If you do that, but your mouth is like not able to open, that is how you asphyxiate yourself. That, I would, penguin. That would that would be in my mouth, so I would be choking. I, on I would breathe through my nose. <laughs> Too struggling. Can, oh my god, you can kill yourself by doing that. No, you can't. Wait, Zandra oh. says that's a statistical misanalysis. Spider Spider George, who swallows ten thousand, uh, oh, yeah, ten thousand spiders every night, is a statistical outlier and shouldn't have been accounted. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes George. George should die. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> Bookworm says sleep. you don't need duct tape. Go to sleep, penguin. I, yeah, go to yeah, sleep. I, I, will, I will kick you from the call. I'm gonna kick myself from the call. Good night. 
Can I kick myself in the call? Sure. This is a free cunt. <laughs> well, f free country in quotation marks. Because not really. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> now you can say whatever you want. That's Penis. 18 plus. There you go. <laughs> I would have laughed if Hatchet came back and the first thing they heard was Penis. That's pretty normal, actually. Alright, my ice cream should be softened enough. I am going to go eat some. No. The only thing I hate about the robots is they have so many fucking tiny ass spots. Alright. Time to go on attack on tank mode. I am standing on nothing. <laughs> I am... I somehow made it up. <laughs> Don't question how. Something is flush up that I can move. Where is it? Come on. Okay then. <laughs> I may have the pit somehow. Uh... <laughs> picked up that. Okay. <laughs> I am strong. <laughs> After Sephiroth went missing five years ago, we in the entirety of Midgar felt his loss. <laughs> he fought admir admirably. In the war against Wutai, and the people absolutely adored him, even more than they do our mascot Stamp. Wasn't Sephiroth a bad guy? Oh yeah, Sephiroth's a bad guy. Although, once they see the military marvel that is the Airbus, they'll forget Sephiroth even existed. <laughs> was a war hero, says Zanju. He was a war hero who turned into a really real... Well, like, he was a really, really bad guy.
How the fuck did this thing get so dirty? Years of use? Nah, I wanna go with my canon thing that we said about the scorpion robot thing. It, it fought a monster that that's made out of pee, vomit, and shit. What? You've heard me. This is part of Final Fantasy 7 pack, right? Yep. I don't know what the other pack is. But I have it, because I bought the game. I can find anyone who survived cleaning the whole mech. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I have stuffed my face with ice cream. Oh, you missed it. Asher was here. You're lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You think I can't see the logs for who enters and exits these voice chats? I was talking about Asher was on Twitch, but okay. I, I would see them in the... <laughs> you are a very exhausted <laughs> person. <laughs> Yet you are my mom. Would have seen their like. You would have seen their comments. Like. Well, so he has bookworm. There's logs. I can I can see everything. Yeah, that's how we mainly knew you left. It's because of the logs. I knew without the logs. I didn't notice until I saw user left. Check the logs. Why is Ch Chugin violent mouse or just... Why is there an issue with the mouse occasionally getting a violent mouse of urges? Yes. Why? It's a part of life. It's fuck you. Oh, Chu, I want to show you how strong I am. You ready? No, but I feel like you're gonna show me anyway. I am strong. My character can lift ten of those. Well, you don't know how heavy that is. It is a okay. <laughs> Bookworm, bunk bright for me. Bookworm, bunk chew for me. Let's do who you listen to. It's probably gonna bunk for both of you. <laughs> yeah. I do both. <laughs> Racing. Because uh, I am a people pleaser. Also phrasing. And oh look! You got bonked again, too. It's not very nice. You're not supposed to do that to me. Because then that's how you get your fingers bit. I will never be able to get over <laughs> how I originally thought Pikachu didn't have teeth. You know, people are still debating over whether or not Chu, uh, the Chu, uh, the Pikachu that Ash has has the black mark on the tail. It never did. Some people are debating that it that that they did. 
those people need to go outside and find a hobby. Like a, a better hobby. You clarified because I was about to say. I am not a hobby. Yet. Um. So. I mean, Ash I might say otherwise. <laughs> I am not a hobby. What do you mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Sex toys. I, 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 that's not a hobby. That's an, there, there's that's a hobby an about collecting sex toys. Okay, collecting them is a hobby. But you just said the word. <laughs> and I was about to say that is a noun. Not a hobby. <laughs> Is it bad that at one point on April Fool's, uh, I was thinking for April Fool's Day that I just purchased a big pack of adult toys and have it sent to my parents' house? No. <laughs> you should do that more often. Actually, wait, no, 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 no. You should do that and put a little note inside that says... Now you guys can fuck yourselves properly. So there you go. Do it for a <laughs> Yeah, just send them that. And then send them that note. And you can also add it add in another note that says these should help you loosen up a little. Don't, um, don't question what I mean by that. It's for your own good. No promises. Mm -hmm. Also, Bright, if you were to do that, I would not. I would not put your return address or your name on it at all. There. Just let them wonder who the fuck sent them with. <laughs> you would probably have to ask someone else to write it though, assuming that they don't recognize your handwriting. Oh no, it would be computer no. typed. Oh yeah, you can just... Well, the thing, the thing, yeah, well like, and also, like, you could, like, when you buy, like, a gift or something, you could buy it as a gift, and then, like, they... And like depending on where you get it from, they some places do like say whatever you want them to say. So So they would get like a nice car with like that bonus. I'm opening it it's chest. Now we can see it's chest. Uh, is it true? Something. Chew, don't get horny over opening the robot's chest. Sorry, Chew. Huh? Chew. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I feel like Hi. at one point Chew is just gonna stop speaking to me. <laughs> I mean, there will come a day where I eventually just stop talking to everybody. Nobody gets the joke, do they? I honestly don't care. Fair enough. No, I don't. I, I don't get the joke. Yes, thank you, Bookworm. Bookworm got the joke. But what if we didn't want to get the joke? Oh, uh, then I can't really do anything about that. 
Was it right? I have bought this character. You're, you are like cleaning. What? You're a bitch. Oh, I fought the character you're cleaning currently. They're a fucking bitch to fight. Oh, for a second I thought you called me a bitch. I was like, what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think they're a fucking bitch to fight. I have a fr I have, like, two, at least two friends who call me bitch affectionately, and I love, and I love it. Interpret that any way you want. <laughs> Is one of them actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> because Ash probably calls you something else. Ash doesn't really call me anything, believe it or not. Not that I can remember. You and Chew? Well, yeah, they call me Chew, but pretty much <laughs> Yeah, this is probably going to take it all the way to end the stream of fucking clean. Because there's so many tight, tiny little fucking spots. No, let's not shame the robot for their tiny spots. It's they have a tiny penis. It's not the size that matters, it's what you do with it. No, I... Yeah, I mean, it's not wrong. Also, Bookworm, you hush. I am. That is not what I am. Oh yeah, no. You're definitely. You're definitely a sub. You're definitely a. Uh, you're definitely a masochist. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Bone, what do you want? Yes, people are live, people are tweeting. Go away. Martianist robot's ass. Well, at least someone's doing it. Isn't that what Japanese toilets do? Yes, and I very much want to get a bidet eventually. I'm pretty sure they're like actually better than um toilet paper, I'm pretty sure. They did a South Park episode about Japanese toilets by the way. Uh, of course they make they run out of, like, content, so they probably... I like the older days of South Park, to be honest. Not not the ones about, like, the gay episodes, but, like, the other ones where they actually made fun of stuff that needed to be made fun of. Well, I like feel there's... like most of the people... I feel like all South Park makes fun of is people who actually care about things. Yeah, most of them probably do like, why well, aren't you an idiot for caring about this real thing? Maybe you should stop caring so much. My dog is asleep, so it's not mine. It's Jerry's dog. I don't have a dog. Or do you? No. Are you sure you're not just hiding your dog away from us and you have the dog to yourself? Right, I don't have what? a dog. <laughs> Why would he hide? What? 
What? Fuck for her. I don't get it. I'm only what? partially paying attention. Paying a dock would be some <laughs> this book. But I will say, me and Scoot agreed that if we ever have enough spare money, and if we ever uh, get a, a dog, it will be a corgi. Aww. Cute. I'm not getting a dog. Then Busta would have an uncle. I, Where's I, Uncle I, Buster's uncle? Well, okay, so I asked Momo if you and and him would be Buster's grandparents because I see you as father figures. And he said yes. Okay. <laughs> I should not be in any kind of family role. Even though I've already had a friend tell me that I am going to be an uncle, but I'm not expanding on that. That's fair, Chew. It, 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 it was a, um, that was surely a conversation that I still have opinions on that I'm surprised actually happened. So bookworm, stop licking the chat. You don't know where what? it's been. Lick the chat even more, bookworm. I mean, that's not really bothering me because then I, I'm not getting sick. How do you know bookworm's not licking yeah. you? And also you're getting clean. Well, that is... What? No, but... Brian, I want to make... <laughs> I don't necessarily make him sick though. <laughs> Is that an uncle? One. Oh, okay. That was really ran. Okay. That was a really random change. Okay, Adorno, I understand your hatred towards this thing, so right now I just want to toss this thing in the fucking ocean and be done with it. I'm Can I sure toss it into the ocean? I'm pretty sure that's what happened after we demolished this. Really? <laughs> yeah! So that makes me feel better. <laughs> Just and you some. weren't gonna do that. A lot harder. Mm. Things you got, gotta be exact. Well, oh. Sounds like a slow oh, issue. Yeah. Fuck you. I return. <laughs> My hatchet. They're bullying yeah. me. Save me. I'm not. No. I am always. Well, we're gonna continue bullying you. Yeah, what the hell? The child's not. The child's not still here, is he? No. No. Yeah. Alright, because for some reason on my screen, he's showing them in the Discord, or like in the live stream, BC screen. That's weird. Yeah, they're not here. I mean, you need to like close the win close it, and then like reopen it or something. Nah, it was oh. a big deal. Yeah, now. Now we can say penis. Alright. You're a fucking child. <laughs> I'm going to go check Twitter to see if any of the dumb transphobes responded. I'm tempted. Because I don't have problems. I'm tempted to uh, just say hello. <laughs> I have problems. <laughs> The thing is, I, I kind of like pissing people off. Same. 
So if I meet a transpo, I'm just like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> Instead of... <laughs> I, I, I enjoy pissing people off. Because I learned a long time ago that trying to make people happy is impossible and hard. Yeah. Hey, Adorno, would it be bad if this if this can right here were to show up someone uh, someone's asshole? What? <laughs> I mean, it's what? Horrible. I've seen people do crazier things. <laughs> oh, hydrate. Okay, I'll no. hydrate. Wait, book. no. I I I meant to say that I've heard people. Do crazier things. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, hatchet. I want to show you something. Here's some okay. robot booba. Uh. <laughs> this is open, closed chest, and open chest. So that's why it said that. Okay. <laughs> Wait. So, so, this robot only has one breast, then, according to you? Instead of having one three... gigant. Yeah. It has one gigantic breast with an inverted nipple. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now I just want chicken. I hope you all are proud of yourselves. <laughs> How is that our fault? Whenever I hear breast, my first thought is chicken, which I think says a lot about the type of person I am. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Well, exactly, but when breast equals chicken breast, exactly. No. Why, why would you say? What? I'm, th I'm thinking of old Thanos videos, so I think Hatchet knows what I'm thinking. I don't even, uh, I don't even know if he would. Why are you talking about Thanos? What do you buy? Thanos. Not Thanos. <laughs> I was literally, I was literally looking at tweets revolving around eco-fascism. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Bright nearly sounds like saying Thanos. Thanos. Yeah, Thanos. Yeah, probably almost that. Oh, so you're like you're in that like you're in that like this kind of discussion thing. Oh yeah, but that's a doozy. <laughs> People who still defend Thanos concern the hell out of me. Yeah. True. Especially when they demonstrate that. Well, for one thing, they're also just demonstrating that they, to quote Doctor Strange, they lack imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, like, one of uh, the people that I think both I and Katya uh, follow, at the very least are aware of, uh is an amprim and uh like ma made a made a claim about overpopulation that was off the mark that i disagreed with and most oh, people yeah. disagreed with but i uh, i used to follow them too yeah but then you have a whole bunch of reactionary ass guys like doing standard twitter shit hopping in and immediately calling them a fascist when like, it's literally just one, like, misconception that they have. Like, it's a dangerous misconception, sir, but, like, it, it's not as if they're, like, advocating for anything harmful. I, I don't see... I don't see why people well, just immediately call them fascist for it. Possibly because, like, the... Because... I could kind of see it, possibly because they uh, see how that can like lead to this to fascist thing. But like, yeah, that's yeah, kind of a different thing than being 
Yeah, like I'm still following because I like a decent bit of their stuff, and it's just like it it feels odd, kind of like like I made one like half baked statement on the take, took my hands off. That take apparently got like a bit of traction in the comments of that initial conversation. And then I come back like a day later to find out that a whole shit ton of people were being toxic to this person based solely upon one take. And it's just like, uh, Twitter is shit. Which is why I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> It's really hard when there's all these tight crevices. Crazy. All these tight what? vaginas. Okay, now you just made it cringy. It was <laughs> Damn it, and, just and you mention and you and you say that right as I look at a tweet talking about the sex lives of trans women. Jesus Christ, what I need to get off of this site so that Bright stops saying <laughs> cursed <laughs> shit while looking at it. <laughs> Actually, no, no, Bray, I'm about to show you how you didn't click the bank outside the box on this one. Instead of crevices, you should have just said cervixes. That would have been much better. Actually, yeah. Yeah, Bright, if you're going to be a fucking weird pervert, you could at least be a bit more creative. How about, uh, go fuck yourself. Is that physically right. possible? Maybe. With a portal gun? Possibly. <laughs> With a portal gun. Um, you, you, you just you just need you, you just need to find a a different uh, somebody from a, one of yourselves from a different dimension. If I saw a different version of myself, my first instinct might to make it so that there's one less of us. <laughs> Don't need no fucking doppelgangers coming around and confusing Ash. But you, but you, what if they're hot? There is no version of me that would be hot. Sorry, not sorry. What if there's a version uh, of the alternate I, world? I, I, I doubt that because we're talking about it right every now. day. I am not. No. And, no. okay, and no. even, even, no. like, taking your, uh, awful take that you are not hot, even taking that into account, uh, assuming that the universe is infinite, then actually, yes, there absolutely is an even hotter version of yourself somewhere out there in the universe. No. Because if something no. is, if the universe is infinite, or if parallel universes are infinite then with an infinite number of possibilities there's just an inevitable like it's inevitable that there would be an exact copy of you mm -hmm. that, that wouldn't be a hotter version though yeah the only hotter version of me is the one that can self-ignite. So I mean, you. this I mean, this version of you can do that. You just need a lighter. No, I just mean, like, naturally. Just, like, with that, you know, that character from, uh... Hey, do you know that... Four. Uh... Wait, shoot, you didn't give your... Character the ability to self ignite? What? No, why would I give it the ability to light itself on <laughs> fire? My superpower is I just spontaneously combust. That's all I do. <laughs> my superpower. That, that's is probably be. My superpower. That's probably be my superpower, to be honest. That is my superpower. It is a. Or spontaneously just de evolve into like. 
Well, we'll just go into water form or some shit. Hey, did you know that in terms of I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Vaporeon. Hey, you would fuck Vaporeon. Who wouldn't? Not me. Well, not of course me. you wouldn't. I mean, I'd consider it, but it's one of the less likely options of the Pokemon. Yeah. Oh yeah, because for you, uh, definitely. Let me see. Uh, but uh, Benary, uh, Gardevoir. No. I'd say Benair is probably closer for Chu. Gardevoir is more. Benary, or do you mean Lopunny? Oh, Lopunny. Yeah. Lopunny. Yeah, Lopunny. That's what I meant. Sorry. Because in which case, anyone who says that they wouldn't. That they wouldn't fuck Lopunny as a line to themselves. I wouldn't fuck Lopunny. Okay, hey. with, an ex with exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see a flaw in your a flaw in your logic, too. <laughs> Anyone who is who is not um ace in the way that Bright is, if they say that they wouldn't, then. You are a liar. What about people who aren't attracted to fe feminine animals? The Sikhs. <laughs> it isn't because Bright goes corner. <laughs> corner. Corner time. There it's is a corner. notable difference between uh, attraction to things that are more anthropomorphic and consensual and fucking zoophilia. Jesus Christ. Actually, zoophilia is a problem on YouTube, by the way. It's a problem everywhere. Yeah, no, it's a problem I mean, there's like a lot of craters being called out for it. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, no, I could kind of see, right? I could kind of see that being a thing. That uh, no, I actually saw the, videos in, about it. In the great words of A V and J, famous fish streamer, uh. Uh, what was the exact quote? I don't know if it's a rule anywhere. It just seems like common fent. It's common sense. Yo, don't fuck fish. That is a conversation that actually happened on one of his streams. Also, before you be quiet, we don't talk about that Pokemon. What Pokemon? Wild Wild. Oh yeah. A mile. Oh yeah, def. Oh yeah, definitely. Because, according to Chu, because of the because ma the teeth and no, yeah, because of the ma. I've done nice before. <laughs> I'm decent. I am safe. I am safe <laughs> now. You're so safe. You're never safe. Fucking area right here that I need to get to. Being an ass. You just have to get it. You just gotta get up in there, right? That sounds wrong. Sounds, sounds like a skill issue. Exactly as Bookworm said, get in there real good. Gotta believe in yourself. Fuck it, we're going with the maximum pressure ultimate Vista Pro. Phrasing. That feels like a euphemism for something. <laughs> Release the pressure. We're going harder. <laughs> Can you admit? I don't think I could ever imagine. Myself, like actually saying something like that. In Wait, why did you bomb catch it? They didn't because, say anything. Because that sounds so unbelievably cringy that it would ruin any type of mood that was established. I would never say anything like that. Oh my god, can you imagine? 
Like, that is peak cringe. Finally! Alien objections. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I have to choose between two countries that are really pissed at me. Do I help China or Russia? No. Neither. I don't have... I, well, I could go to Nigeria, but they're not like I they're they're not in the red zone where like I need to be helping them. Question. question. Wh which which one is the better out of the two in that game? They they have very little input on my operations. I'd assume that it's basically the same as real world, just with aliens attacking everything. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Ten. Fuck, ch fuck China. Going to Russia. <laughs> Ten thousand years later. Oh, now we get to find out the big bomber and bomber. Cover. Okay, so obviously somewhere. Got that. The palm flamethrower. It's not that one. I think I'm gonna leave the chat for the night. Got that All one. All right. Okay. I mean, Take care. Is, yeah. See ya. Good night. 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 That's a base side play, that's good. There we go. A real sneaky light. Ah, there it is. So somewhere up in here. That there is. I haven't seen any orange. It's probably at an at a weird angle then. It's the very last one. Then I'm done. Where is it? This is retaliation for... Oh, I see it. Got it. Fuck you, Chew. <laughs> Alright, Hatchet. You ready to... You ready to see what happens at the end of cleaning? Sure. Does it murder us in our sleep? Oh, it shows the time lapse. And I got a hundred and fifty dollars for cleaning that. Not worth it. Not a lot of money. Do that. That is like I'm... a fraction of minimum wage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I completed this entire story. I would bite them. Bite, the bite Union the makes a There's a strong... Tomb Raider in Midgar. I did Midgar. Midgar. <laughs> Midgar. Yeah, that's the city Midgar. where Final Fantasy VII takes place. Uh, okay. <laughs> I find it funny because it sounds like someone horribly mispronouncing Mid Midgard. Oh no, it's, it's probably based off of Midgard. Yeah. It's, I know it's probably it's, based off of Midgard. If I remember correctly from being told, it's like the, the the Midgard is like a very poor people place while it's above it, it's like a floating like city that has all the rich people. I think it's what's... I might be wrong. 
<laughs> like a floating city, really. Hmm. Well, kind of. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I know it's like attached to Midgard. Yeah, it has. It's not really floating. It's more like. Yeah, it has. It's. It's not really floating. The floating city is clo- is actually in, from a story. Like if you're thinking about like, like mm. anime, um, like uh, Anita Battle Angel, that's yeah. where that's from. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna do this, and I'll be the last one for stream. That way I can earn stars so I can actually upgrade my equipment and stop using level one shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. The aliens. Right. Do I take the shot? Yes. Always. That's a dead alien. Was that a hot dead one? alien? No. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Now, Hatchet, let's be honest here. If aliens did come to Earth, we all know that people would have either one of two reactions. One oh, yeah. is let's. Explain. I'm pretty sure I know what your reaction would be. Fuck it. Well, no, my first reaction would be to not trust it because I trust no one. And then I would probably have a very wide variety of thoughts, some of which might actually actively concern me. But then I would ignore them, just like I ignore all my other problems. Wait, I'm I'm washing my own car. How did your car get that dirty? (laughs) (laughs) What did you do? Oh, that was... Zanjo does have the, the good idea. Clap alien cheek well you see there, there's one small problem of course one one small problem with that notion um the aliens that we are referring to literally do, do not have cheeks uh the the alien that i killed is uh called called the floater and they literally are just a a flying torso with a gun What are they packing in that gun? Plasma. Kinky. It's not kinky. It'll kill you. (laughs) Honestly. Good way to die. The the real... Oh, wait. It's death by Snoo Snoo. It is not death by Snoo Snoo. There is no Snoo Snoo. I think we're just turning to head its head right now. It's death by fucking plasma bolt into your fucking chest. Mm. Kinky. <laughs> I let's be honest here, I'm pretty sure most people, if they could pick a um an execution method for themselves, they would pick death by snow snow. <laughs> Obviously. Oh god, Momo's here. Oh no. Right. What what was that about death by snow snow choo choo? Nothing. Bookworm, explain everything to Momo. Do-woo? Don't bonk me, Momo. How is that gonna be the first thing you do when you get here? Because every fair, reason. You deserve you deserve the bonk. No, I'm friend shaped. 
Allegedly. Okay. You are friend shaped, but you also deserve the box. No, that's mean. You're horny shaped as well. What does that even mean? <laughs> there isn't a shape for that. Oh, no, uh, there, there is a shape for that. That's called shoe. That, that's not a thing that exists. Yet. Also, Bright, you missed a spot on the door handle and it irks me. You, 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 missed, you missed a spot. No, I didn't. Yeah, that, that, there you go. I already got <laughs> I like how I just touched the wheel and it instantly... Bookworm, stop giving me money. I have... I have one mission. To capture a muton. I thought you were gonna say capture the avatar. Oh, Probably. don't worry. <laughs> Two. They'll give you twice as much money than usual. Tell my birthday stream. No. I have to restore my honor by capturing a muton. Guys, Bookworm is head patting me. Intervene. Um. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, everyone I, I says the mutons are a bitch to capture, says Momo. They are. I mean, I put a 50 cal into his chest, so it should be easier. But also, uh, I have bad news. Oh, wait, no, good. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to do the meme of, uh, um, I thought that my medic just got shot dead. You're not supposed to fire at medics. Do you think the aliens give a shit about fucking anything like that? Yes. No, they don't. Well then, we need to cancel them. Why do you have a no? I'll do it. <laughs> Apparently it's the only thing I can pick up is a gnome. <laughs> Can I pick up some dirt? No. Oh well. It's <laughs> just a gnome on top of my car now. <laughs> Congrats. I thought that was going to be a lot longer. I can, I'll do another one. So I thought it was going to take a lot longer to do that. Plus, it gives me more stars. Yes. Okay. I Clean think back I can catch garden. This. Okay, I think I can catch this muton. Wait, I get more money by cleaning the back garden than by cleaning that mech. I get 450 yes. for this. I, yes, I electrocuted the muton. I like how the, the house is completely clean. And then you just look at the backyard. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the hell? What did they do? Someone had the worst explosive diarrhea I've ever seen in this backyard. Because this is, this is just not normal. This is a crime against humanity. This is a violation of the Geneva Convention. Did their, did they not like clean up after their dog for like decades? Even if it's they, not, no. their dog literally threw everything that came out of its body, it literally everywhere, except I guess it, except at the house. Also, yes, Momo, on top of that, pig pen came to the cookout. Who here actually knows who pig pen is besides me and Momo? I do not. I do not. How is it that I'm younger than all of y'all and I know who pig pen is? It's fuck you. 
<laughs> On the bright side, if things keep going as they are, I think the only... I, 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 think, I think the person that got shot down is going to be the only casualty of this mission. Just have to yeah, stabilize him. Did none of y'all ever watch Charlie Brown growing up? No. No. Why? I watched anime uh, growing up. I'm a weeb. I never watched I never watched anime growing up. I watched uh I think Tr mostly rom coms. Charlie Brown is like it is the childhood thing that people watch. It's like SpongeBob or um. Oh, I, I I never watch. I never watch. Haven't watched SpongeBob either. You okay. underestimate my lack of having a life. Okay. But also, what? Oh yeah, Momo PBS Kids. Please, please tell me y'all watch Cyber Cyber oh, yeah. growing up. No. Please. Oh, I, oh, I, know yeah, what I it have is, that on, not. uh, I have, I have, like, uh, I have that, like, on a, it's a watch list, I think, so. I, n I never even heard of that. Yeah, but, um, okay, so the first anime I watched was not something I should watch as a seven-year-old, uh -huh. oh, which was Camper. We don't need to hear about Camphor, and we don't need to hear about how camphor maybe made you trans somehow. <laughs> it's a transgender friendly show. It Book really Book. isn't. <laughs> Bookworm gets the cyber chase height. Bookworm, I used to watch Word Girl, but I, 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 I just couldn't. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. I'm sorry. But what girl was just so annoying. I couldn't do it. I was Cyber Chase, Fetch with Rough Roughman, um. God, what else? Um, Curious George. And, oh, I've watched Curious George. I watched the uh, movie, but I, I didn't think... watch the show. I think oh, the most dragon. I watched was like, um, what was it called? Oh, <sighs> yeah. I really liked uh, watching what is Green. Yes, Momo. Both um, of those. Both of those Momo. Also, also, Green was in it, but um, what was it called? It was like a, a show zombies would enjoy. No. Mama, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm not that into old stuff. I did not watch Animaniacs. I watched. But I, that's that's also, the only cartoon I actually watched. Animaniacs. But I, but I love. So I did. I love yeah. Arthur. I I did watch uh like. Uh, what was it called? I did watch uh Elmo. I oh yeah, Sesame Arthur. Street. I feel like everyone's watched Sesame Street. No, I did not watch Sesame Street. What is? Like I said, or I'm I think, a weeb. I think I think I did watch it, like once or twice when like I could barely remember jack shit. But then I had an absolutely horrific, uh, nightmare about Bert and Ernie torturing my toys. And then I never watched it again. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> those those like, gay men will not torture your toys. Don't like, worry. I just I distinctly remember the oh, dream. Sorry, sorry, dream. Those, oh sorry, I for, I forgot to say. Oh, I roommates. sorry. I I I uh, yeah, the roommates. They're such but, good friends. <laughs> but like I distinctly remember the dream being where like like, it was, like, blaring, like, like, industrial sounds, and then it showed Bert and Ernie, like, in, in fireman's gear. <laughs> and then they, like, picked up one of my favorite toys and just threw it into a furnace and just sat there laughing maniacally. 
and then I never watch Sesame Street again. <laughs> to be honest, I never watched. Okay, well, no, wait, yes, I did. But when Sesame Street came on, the main thing I watched was Elmo's World. Yeah, same. I have a question. Did anyone watch the American Godzilla TV sh cartoon show? Please tell me you didn't. No. I've never heard right. of it. Don't. Just. When? Just don't. When? What? When was it made? I don't remember, but I remember seeing it as a kid and I was like, what the fuck is this? They. Alright. They made Godzilla an overgrown iguana that can fire. Uh, heat blast. That's what they did. Isn't that not what Godzilla can do? Well, he's yeah, not I mean, an I... iguana. Well, how am I supposed to know? I've never watched Godzilla. He's a bipedal oh. iguana. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, his name means gorilla and whale. So take that as you will. <laughs> Also, Mama, I also used to love Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh no, I, Momo, I, I, you I, I, saw I, the Godzilla cartoon? I feel like I remember oh, Thomas the Tank Engine scaring the living shit out of me. Sorry, I mean to kick you off is... with Oh. Oh, I, I should probably not say... I should probably not show you the, like... The thing of, like... Thomas the Tank Engine, like, uh, uh, the game, right, you were playing with the, like, Oh, no, I was here Tiger, with Choo -choo Tiger. Charles. It's not, like, yeah. an actual issue. I just remember that I never watched that show because it scared the shit out of me. That, I oh. completely understand that based on what I remember about Thomas the Tank Engine. The fact that the faces did not move. And the only thing that moved were the eyes. And the only way we knew what the characters were saying was from the narration. I can definitely see how that scared children. <laughs> oh, did you know in the Choo Choo Charles game, if you open a cheat code menu, you can, if you type in Moist, Moist Critical's head becomes the face of Choo Choo Charles. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but, um, what else did I used to watch growing up? I know I used to love Power Rangers. I um, never watched it. Yeah, no, same. Um, Me too. Caillou, Wait, Dragon Tales. Um, I was I was just making a joke. I was joking. I was saying you you need to. <laughs> uh, so far, Chu is naming every show I have not watched. That's sad. I'm a weeb. I have a right to be sad. <laughs> right? Are you? Right? A... I'm a third... Right. Right. Yes. Real talk. You said that your first anime was Campfer when you were eleven. Did you just seven. sit on your? Oh, it's seven. Okay. That's a bit better, but still, before the age of seven, did you Wait, just no, no, sit on your no, hands all worse. day? Wait, what? Oh no, I mean it's it's better for what I'm talking about. It is significantly worse for what camp fur is, but oh, yeah. like for what I'm like discussing, like did like before the age of seven and before you were exposed to that, just that, did you just like spend all day sitting on your hands? You just didn't watch shows? I actually watched... I don't know why, but as a kid I enjoyed that anime. <laughs> so I didn't change the channel. No, no before then. Uh, you yeah, like, anything before then? Uh, actually, I just preferred playing outside as a kid before I learned what a TV was. Did you not have a TV? Not till I was seven, no. Jesus, what? <laughs> okay. I love how Bookworm immediately <laughs> said it. Ew, one of those kids. Wow, <laughs> Bookworm, I see how friendly you are with me. Fucking outdoorsy types. Yeah, go, go, go fucking swing a stick, you nerd. I remember, I don't know why, but I remembered 
there was this one tree that was super stretchy for some reason, and I would just <laughs> fling pine cones at a neighbor's stretchy? yard. <laughs> you mean bendy? Bendy, yeah, sorry. Those... Stretchy? <laughs> He's just got a stretch arm strong tree. <laughs> it's Monkey D. Loopy tree. <laughs> oh. I, feel like I don't any... actually know what that word means, so I don't know if I should allow or deny it. Let's look it up together, shall we? No. no. What, did someone new just randomly say a new word? No, it's, um, Momo put something on chat and Automod caught it. Oh, hit. Uh, uh, wow, I almost said it. I almost said it. <laughs> I never... I know what it is. I've heard that word before, and I personally don't know what the problem is with it, but, um, obviously I'm not in charge, so, eh. I don't know oh. what the word is. Well, Bright allowed it, so, eh. Then what's the <laughs> word, Bright? Uh, hick. Oh, all the words, which has an issue with, it's hick. I like how I'm cleaning sand. I don't like sand. Wait, that's not sand. What is that this? That is obviously concrete. <laughs> that's like a pond for it's your like backyard. Yeah, like, it's a drained-out pond. This is, like, real talk. Uh, like, before, like, mm -hmm. a, like the Chernobyl disaster passed through this person's backyard, <laughs> it is a very nice yard. Yeah. Also, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but the best Power Rangers was Jungle Fury. I'm sorry. <laughs> That the is only, objectively correct. The only Power Rangers I watched had something to do with, like, katanas. And that's literally all I remember. Oh, okay, so samurai. you watched us. Uh, yeah, probably Samurai. Was yes, it, Samurai. Wait, um, wait, was it on Nickelodeon? Yes. Oh, no. It... Okay, yeah, then it was probably... It was either Samurai or Ninja Storm. It's samurai. Oh, yeah, Ninja Storm was also good. I remember there was like a. So Wait, I, I remember ever... there being a, a Golden Ranger, who had a sword oh, yeah. that was like, like. Oh yeah, that was that was Samurai. Sword. Yeah, yeah. The two swords where he was like really fast. That was Samurai. I have a question: Does Avatar count as a cartoon? Cause that's the only thing. Does Avatar mm -hmm. count as a cartoon? No, I mean, the, like, Avatar The Last Airbender. Why did I say av just Avatar? <laughs> well, even then, it, like, it doesn't it, make yes. it better. Why would How? Avatar The Last Airbender not be a cartoon? Okay, then I have watched one cartoon. <laughs> Is it, it's animated, right? <laughs> I love, I love how every interpretation of that question is hilarious, but for different reasons. You were either A, just deadpan. Is Avatar, as in, like, the Blue Monkey film, is that a cartoon? <laughs> or you were asking if the very clearly animated show that aired on, on Nickelodeon was a cartoon. Because I've, I've heard people call it an anime, so I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, that's just like a whole entire debate. Let's not, let's, let's not, let, let's just not. Um, also, Momo, I never watched Wild Force. Ninja Storm was mid. Dino Thunder was also mid, but slightly less mid. It was actually slightly better. And I love Time I, I like, I like Dino I liked Dino, Dino Thunder, that was funny. I also really loved, um, SPD. 
SPD is actually tied with Jungle Fury as my favorite. I think. Yeah, I used I used to have a uh, SPD on like uh, I think I don't even know if I, I had it on DVD. I had it. I might have had it on like VHS. Uh, I, actually... I had. I had. Um, I had one of the Dino Thunder movies on VHS though. SPD sounds like it's an abbreviation for some kind of condition. I don't know. I, don't I was like, I thought oh, Chu was SPD. talking at first was STD <laughs> for the longest SPD. time. SPD. Abbreviation for Space Patrol Delta. They were um. No, Space Patrol. They were so pretty much cops. Yeah. I was, I I I was guessing that SPD actually. Oh, now that makes sense because SPD, but uh. I was gonna guess that SPD stood for something like severely prevalent diarrhea or something. Oh. <laughs> that, would be, that would be kind of funny. Um, uh... I actually still have in my toy drawer. I actually have the um the uh God, what do you call it? What do you call those things? Um. The uh, morpher for the purple ranger from Jungle Fury. I still have one. Oh, nice. Why is Momo tell me to close my ears? Oh, probably Momo's gonna like um. Gonna like uh, what is it called? Oh, the like, voice text. I'm playing person. something or something. Yeah, play some fingers. I feel like at some point you guys are gonna force me to watch a bunch of cartoons. Yes, yes because clearly your childhood was very sad and we need to fix it. I will weep, I don't care about cartoon childhood. I didn't grow up watching a lot of good your cartoons, what do you mean? No, they're not. I I don't believe it. Right, hey Bright. Have you ever watched? Okay. Have you w ever watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No. Actually, no, no, no. Let me, let me just do this. Okay. Oh, Katya's gonna come and kick your ass, Bright. <laughs> okay, Bright, Bright. Mm -hmm. Do you consider early Disney animation to be cartoons? Maybe. I didn't watch the early Disney Channel cartoons, <laughs> so I want to know. Well, I mean, for starters, you just called them cartoons, but do you, like, when you say, when you, what, like, do you associate, like, early Mickey Mouse stuff as being cartoons? Maybe? Right, what do you what consider do you mean, to maybe? be cartoons, then? <laughs> what I does never... cartoons mean to you? You know, the thing is, you'll never know. Because even I don't know. God damn it! I'm sitting here trying to, I'm I'm Brian. sitting here trying to do like a fucking logical syllogism real quick, and then you just come in here and break it like a fucking piece of shit. Um. Because because you're so fucking inept at responding to questions that you have to ask what a fucking cartoon is. Well, you've been freely using the word. I can't read the, um... Where's your fucking I, brain bright? <laughs> I can't read the, um, the live chat. Because my computer is on some shit right now, unfortunately. And, uh, Twitch just crashed and won't reopen. But I'm pretty sure Momo and Zanju and Bookworm are still losing their shit in that live chat. <laughs> I do not have the live chat open. I, I do, and yeah, they are. <laughs> Hang on, let me try to close out of Chrome and reopen it. I don't know what's been going uh, on with my PC lately. You know, you know, that's that's the that's the thing. Like, I I've been I've been dealing with like a big bout of depression, okay, and like I I've been missing spending time with my friends. 
and voice calls because like I just couldn't get the wherewithal to come in here. But I didn't miss this. I don't I don't know if I can say I didn't miss it, but what I do know is dealing with Bright's inept ass has made me long to be depressed again. <laughs> that sounds so fucking hot now. <laughs> okay, Twitch is open again. It's working. And yes, yes, it is fucked up, right? Because, you know, your stupidity is making me prefer depression. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't mind doing like a a stream where they just see my feeds were modeling. You guys just show me cartoons because I've seen that on no. Twitch. Oh, that, right, that's gonna get you DMCA'd. I see it on Twitch all the time, though. Yes, and they're big enough to get away with it. You're not. Uh, then I guess we we just sit down one day on my non-stream days and. You just show me a bunch of fucking cartoons. Okay, the thing, the thing is, we could show her cartoons and just have her show her reactions to them. Oh wait, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the question is, which one? Hmm, that's the question. I, 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 I think we can all agree that maybe the 1987 one is not a good idea. Because I, I am confident that there are some parts of that show that aged poorly. That's, that good. makes it... I mean, honestly, if Bright wasn't trying to clean up her image, that would just be the perfect... That'd be the perfect one to go for. Okay, we're not going for that mm -hmm. one. Considering Bright's con fucking inability to avoid accidentally being racist sometimes. Personally, I'm leaning towards, and obviously this is my personal bias, but I'm leaning towards either the 2003 cartoon or the 2012 cartoon. I know the 2012. The 2012 was so good, oh my god. And I also uh... remember distinctly that Shredder's daughter awakened several things in me. Bonk. Bonk. I saw a theory about that. Oh, uh, and April. I saw a theory about that on YouTube where they said that Shredder's daughter was technically... Who the fuck's the rat guy's name? Wait, people thought that Splinter was Shredder's daughter? What? Yeah. Splinter is... Okay, no. <laughs> he needs I'm a fucking do... <laughs> <laughs> And not only that, he's a fucking dude! I, I uh... I Shredder, Shredder and the giant mutant rat got together and then they came back! Splinter trans art? That's not what I was going by. I was thinking that Split saying that they think Splinter is the father. They're both the oh. same age! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, humanity was a mistake. I'm sorry, I didn't watch the show, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the rat gave birth to a human! <laughs> so fucking <laughs> You've seen weirder stuff. You've probably seen weirder stuff. Oh, Hatchet. I want to. I want to know if there's another oh. anime that I've seen that I think you might know. There's two, uh, Data Live and Campione. I've heard of My, both of those. Uh, I watched Campione. that also the same year. Yeah. Seven. No, don't. Fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did your parents just not give a single shit about? What am I saying? Of course they didn't give a fucking shit. 
Uh, uh, Zanju, um, the ones you're thinking of are both 1987 and 2012, and both of those, Splinter was a human who then got mutated into a rat. Who the fuck's Karai, Momo? Karai is Splint is Shredder's quote unquote daughter. Oh. She's the and one that awakened. She's a girl, Clinton. actually. And instead of what fan theory did you watch? I don't know. I just clicked on a random video, and that's what I saw. But anyway, as as I was gonna say, neither of those shows are are decent for a seven year old. They're probably less problematic than Camper. But they're still very horny. <laughs> Although I do need to go back and rewatch Data Live. I I, I remember Data Live being pretty serviceable. Yeah, yeah there's more mind. there's more seasons now. Yeah, I know. Isn't there like three seasons? It's, uh, I haven't watched yeah. the newest season, but I want to. Mm. Yeah, Momo, in two thousand three, um, Splinter was always a rat, just like in the comics. I also saw another theory that Splinter was once a human at some point. Bright, you're not reading your own live chat. We just addressed oh. this. They... <laughs> Bro, I'm not reading the live chat, and I heard you say this fucking <laughs> less than five minutes ago. I haven't paid attention to cleaning. <laughs> Like a good worker. So, so I guess we're gonna have to have the talk about capitalism with Bright then. What? I'm just making I'm joking. <laughs> Bright, you, sometimes when I interact with you, I feel like I'm gonna have an aneurysm. You just feel like you're gonna? Yes. Because I, I, I feel like it's not a gonna. I think I am. <laughs> also, oh. oh my fucking god, what did they do to that swinging chair? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it charred black? <laughs> I'm cleaning it, though. Okay, okay, okay. Where is this job at? Because at this point, I'm starting to think someone just packed up and made a cozy little home out at Bikini Atoll. Well, in this game, they're actually, if you look in certain levels, if you look in the distance, there actually is a um, an active volcano nearby. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> didn't take me long. <laughs> Why are you wasting water while doing that? Uh, uh, hey, look, there it is. She's looking at water, so she's fine. My main no. question is why the hell are you not evacuating? Because I have to clean, I have a job to do, shoot. There Capitalism. is volcanic ash coming down Capitalism. from the sky. My Our job is more important. Capitalism. Capitalism. Yeah, like I saw, uh, I saw like someone, I I saw like some posts in like a click video, where someone was like, "What do you think you're gonna be doing if you heard that the bombs dropped on a specific day?" And someone said. I don't know. I think my boss needed, I think my boss wanted me in work that day. <laughs> also, Momo, another Power Rangers question. Is it just me or does Operation Overdrive feel like it simultaneously did and didn't happen? Mm. It, it is I, just I remember it. it. No, like, I remember it too. Like, I even remember I used to have, um, Operation Overdrive. 
um socks. Um but I got I got rid of those because they were obviously too small for me. Um I think I had like an operation overdrive like boy oh yeah, a toy of their uh what one of of uh, the Black Power Rangers uh Zord. I remember for Halloween, I it, I was told to dress up as a Power Ranger, not knowing what the fuck a Power Ranger was. I feel... Okay. I can understand not watching the Power Rangers, but how do you not know what the Power Rangers are? It, were you homeschooled? No. The Although... Power Rangers are referenced everywhere. Dragon Ball Z has Power Rangers references. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. What I the point is that they are and, and you call yourself recognized. A they are very much recognized the world over. I mean, is my point. I see clips of it and it doesn't interest me, Eterna. <laughs> it's because it's for kids. Power Rangers is mainly for no, young I was, kids. I was talking about Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Not me personally, I would not allow that disrespect. <laughs> yes, exactly. As Momo said, they're a massive part of pop culture. There has been a... Um... A Red Ranger balloon at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade for how many years now? I never watched Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I, I swear... <laughs> I swear to God... <laughs> I swear to God, like Bright <laughs> just Bright just spawned in at some point in the recent past. Like I swear to God, all of Bright's all of Bright stuff is absolute bullshit, and they just like appeared out of thin air in like 2020. Yep. Bookworm, yeah. please come back so that I don't have to deal with this by myself. I, you don't have to deal with it by yourself. What are we, chop, chop liver? Oh, hatchet. Yes. I remember the. Fuck you. You're hey, not hatchet. Helping. I remember the final anime I watched as a seven-year-old. Uh, Rosario and the Vampire. I think it's called. Okay, that's that's better than my guess, which was going to be something like High School DxD. Oh no, I saw that as ten. Ah. Uh, <laughs> There was absolute, <laughs> there was absolute fucking exposed tits in that one. Oh my fucking god. I feel Average. like I'm hurting the hat shit right now. You're hurting all of us. You're hurting all of us physically, yeah. You're hurting emotionally, yourself. and spiritually. I am spiritually in pain right now, Bray. And you're an atheist. Exactly. There's no reason for Daniel to be watching that. I mainly well, watched it because I saw a meme uh, of someone putting a picture of High School DxC on, like, Disney Channel icon. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so I thought, oh, is it, it's, it's going to be a safe TV show. No, it's not. <laughs> Although that oh, does Disney make me... Although that does make me remember, like, the first, um, season's ending card. That, like, when I first watched those, those were some mesmerizing animations they did. So, like, yeah. <laughs> everyone here is now more stupid for having heard you. You're doing physical damage, everyone hearing this. I'm not taking damage from High School DxT. I don't really even know the show, says Bookworm. It is a very horny show. Imagine As porn, in, but not porn. Yeah, it's basically softcore porn. <laughs> it, it's softcore porn with a bit more attention to detail story-wise. <laughs> Bookworm's only message to that. Oh. <laughs> I believe the word is etchy or itchy. 
interesting. I mean, I think most of what Bright has described is Ichi, but like this is like beyond standard Ichi. Like when I think Ichi at this point, Ichi. the first thing that comes to my mind is my dress up darling, partially because that show's just fucking amazing. This isn't that. Hey, at least I didn't learn anything from high school DXT because, oh god. <laughs> If I copied uh, that behavior. <laughs> yeah, like, I th I think... I I think... Uh, Issei is only an enjoyable character in understanding him as, like... Oh, where did Chu go? Chu left me being destroyed mentally by my childhood. <laughs> uh, like, Issei is, like... It could be why I make so many sex jokes as bookworm. Yeah, too. We combusted Chew. But, um... Issei's one of those characters that can only reasonably, like, be interpreted. Or not interpreted, but... Uh, my brain fucking hurts. Everything about this conversation has just, like, taken years off my lifespan. <laughs> uh. Chu achieved his hottest form. Good for him, this book. Issei is a character that I think is meant to be comedic in the sense of being able to tell just how broken his social skills are. And the sad thing is, is that I see people dead ass acting as if he's at all got social skills. Like even at the start of the show. Yeah, no, and it's didn't. just like, uh, I, I remember distinctly uh, someone, like, in the Crunchyroll comments for Chainsaw Man saying, uh, Denji is probably the most relatable, uh, anime pro tag I've seen since, since Issei. And it's just like, you're either a horny 14-year-old in which case you shouldn't be watching either of these shows, or you are mentally 14 years old. <laughs> I've and only got really, oh, And no. it's really bad with Denji. Oh, God. He gets so I, I'm going to read Bumbo's messages. I've only got 23 more years left. He's just horny, Hatchet. He's just horny, Insa, who got lucky. That's pretty sad. Sorry, I had to say it really loud because... It was all caps. And <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, message, oh no, seek help. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, honestly, yeah, if someone, like, dead ass, if someone says that they heavily relate to Denji, my first thought is going to be Steak Therapy. I have no idea who Denji is. The main character in uh, Chainsaw Man. Oh, I just watched one episode and just stopped watching. <laughs> the point, it, it, like, you don't give a shit about extra bits of information then? No. Yeah, let's just say that Denji is perpetually being groomed by various people. Jesus Christ. For various reasons. He's constantly being manipulated. Specifically using his uh, 16-year-old uh, brain. Damn. Sounds like his groomers are, uh, are like YouTubers. In our world.
I hate you. <laughs> you know I'm not wrong. <laughs> well, you can't just say it sounds like YouTubers are just like YouTubers. Do you know how many YouTubers there are? Okay, some of the the grooming you can say YouTubers. Some YouTubers. Yeah, some YouTubers. Grooming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, I remember a joke speaking of groomers. Right, like, right. You, you know that there are multiple like definitions of grooming, right? Yeah, I know. There's oh, like, I missed my computer. <laughs> Did you came back to this. Really all grooming YouTubers and stuff. Yeah, welcome back, Chu. We're talking <laughs> about how it's incredibly concerning if someone, uh, who heavily relates with Denji from. Uh, chainsaw man because he is perpetually being groomed. Ooh. Denji oh, so from whoa, Chainsaw whoa, whoa. Man. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. Um. Bookworm, would you care to explain why you're claiming that I. that. I, would you care to explain why you're making the false claims that I'm hot again? Explain <laughs> thyself. Ooh, you, you are hot though. You are on trial, explain thyself. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, oh. hatchet. Oh, oh, shoo, oh shoo. Hey, guess what? M Mama brought, was it, guess what? Sorry. The bookworm brought, brought a witness. And I'm that witness. My witness statement is, she was hot. You're an unreliable witness. You are too closely connected to this case. This is this is hearsay, Your Honor. Hearsay. Objection. Anyways, uh, Hatchet. I'm not actually going to say it on Twitch because I don't think I can. But uh, mm -hmm. Van Austin and his friends made a bunch of uh, made a big joke about the word groomer and with. Uh, you know, pet uh, people who groom dogs. You can already guess what they went with. Yeah. I can't say it. I can't. I I don't want to. No. I I found it funny. Because of, of how people want to misinterpret it, but still, I cannot say it. I have no idea why my computer is acting like this. When, when I finished doing my schoolwork yesterday, I looked on my desktop and, like, a whole bunch of my icons for my apps just, like, got Thanos snapped out of existence. And I don't know why. Oh. You need to, maybe you need to restart it or something? I, I restarted it when I turned it back on this morning. Oh, I mean, like, I mean, like, uh, system restart it, not, like, just power off and power on. I don't mm -hmm. want to do a system restart because I don't want to lose anything. There was actually only one anime I've... I've... I, I didn't mean like... Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean like that. I meant like, like, just restart your computer, like, instead of powering off, just restart it. Oh yeah, I tried that too and it didn't work. Yeah, anyways. There was actually only one anime I actually read both the manga and watched anime as well. When I was 15, I watched Spice and Wolf, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming I'm that's the only a, one. That's oh. that's a that's a less problematic age to watch that ad. Yeah. Oh, that just makes me want to rewatch that. Yeah, that's it was really good. Sweet, that's such a sweet show. Yeah. I can't hand I can't handle stuff that's too sweet like that. It, unironically. It unironically makes me sick. <laughs> I mean, you might like the wolf at chew. Hush. <laughs> I mean, especially when she's not in her humanoid form, because, like, she's really big and, like, a wolf with big teeth and could, like, like swallow you whole. <laughs> but like also, I was gonna say, I think Chu would also like the wolf from the new, um, from the new Plus movie. The new what movie? Oh, uh, 
mm -hmm. Puss in Boots movie. I want to watch that. So watch the first one. I've, I've seen reactions to it, and it has no business being as good as it is. Also, if you, ordinarily I would say yes to that wolf, but here's the thing. I'm not going to give spoilers, but I am not going to say yes to that wolf because I enjoy living currently. Uh, and chew. Well, one word. The Viper. The Viper. That's not fatal. Not inherently. I mean, I mean, as long as she likes you. She, bold of you to assume that it would be that they would be a she. Huh? They're talking about a Pokemon, it's a Viper. No, I was meaning a uh, Holo. Oh, 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 the wolf. Yeah. Oh wait. Are we Okay, now wait, now I'm lost. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think Hatch was talking about Spice and Wolf? Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh... I was, I was I was talking about the Puss in Boots, Boots character, who's also a wolf. The wolf that Adorno is talking about, yes, is hot, we all know that. But I don't want to die. Oh my gosh. Guys, I know where we I are. Do. We're you... in Raccoon City. It's the Umbrella logo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> That's not even what the... Uh... It's not what the Umbrella logo looks like. It's literally just a lawn umbrella. <laughs> the Umbrella logo has eight sections, not six. <laughs> I know. Right. What? Oh, by the way, um, no. Oh, I was just gonna mention that the, um, the demo for, um, the Resident Evil 4 remake Shadow Drop today. Oh, okay. Oh, I have... not... I'm hoping for something else to drop today. I think some of you already know. So, so she's going to play Resident Evil 4 Shadow then, right? What? She's trying to play. get you to play a horror game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is, I'm not sure if I want to stream Resident Evil 4. I tried the, the previous version and I hated it. <sighs> Oh god. I think I'm already against you. Cancel bright. Cancel bright right now. Everyone. Chew, uh, I can have this, my this opinions. Is, no, you can't. This no. is one of the least cancelable things Bright has ever said. What are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Resident Evil 4 that you're talking about. Honestly, we need to bring up the fucking. The fucking, no, the fucking no, no, off switch joke. That's, that's part of the joke. That's part of the joke. That it's one of the least cancelable things. Yeah, the there. thing is, I really like Resident Evil 7 and that is my favorite Resident Evil game, mainly because it's actually more horror-oriented. You clearly did not get very far in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> oh no, oh, I didn't. My. There were several moments where I just... I got scared. Oh no, I watched, I watched I just... people play it. I didn't get scared by the watching. Well, it's different when you're well, watching what? it. Yeah, it's completely different when you're watching shit, right? I still get scared when watching YouTube videos. Fuck you. It's completely oh, different, it... though, when you're watching video people play video games. Because, like, you're, you're, watch you're most... Trolling. Because you're pretty much watching their reactions, too. Yeah, that's the primary thing you're looking out for um mm -hmm. i like whenever i watched people play undertale um i liked the characters i had a good time watching everything 
but then by the time I got it on my Switch and I played it myself, that's when I actually felt myself, like, struggling to do certain things. I can't stop power washing because I saw what Bookworm posted and I, and I, and I love it. Bookworm says, we can overlook the off-switch jokes, but we can draw the line at bad Resident Evil opinions slash J. <laughs> you have no idea how hard I'm fighting myself to correct how you pr pronounce that. Fuck you. Oh yeah, no. I I I, I, I want to correct her too. So it's it's for censoring too. No. That's the joke. But I uh, yes, bright. You are allowed to have your opinions, because in America, you are allowed to be wrong, and people will still listen to you. <laughs> wow. That's kind of how it is everywhere, really. I rest my case. Oh. No, computer, no. No, computer, stop. Stop. Speak, I'm not in the mood for this. I mean, last I checked, J.K. Rowling is not oh. a citizen of the United States. Yet. But do not bring is, that curse she... upon us, you absolute hellspawn. You, you, you do know that she's trying to take legal action. She's threatening to take legal action against people who, like, said anything bad about her. Fuck you, J.K. Rowling. Is well, my voice is my that's... voice coming through now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like the legal action that she would be taking is restricted specifically to UK. Like it's mm -hmm. it's based upon very specific, weird, over the top libel laws that exist Upper in the law. UK. So that... if I go to Great Britain and yell out "fuck you, J.K. Rowling," I won't get in trouble. No. I'm, well, you can say fuck you, but, like, if you call her, like, what she is, a transpho in Britain with a publication, then she will threaten legal action, and you would have to take it to a court to try to demonstrate that she is a transpho, which isn't hard, but it's hard in the context of a fucking court system. Plus, she has... Especially, especially on the island. Plus, yeah. she has... Plus, she has... Money. Money. Mm -hmm. They can rob a bank, you'll be fine. What'd you say, Bright? Oh. Right. <laughs> yes, officer, it's right. this one right here. Don't <laughs> come after me, come after her. I'm, j I'm right. just a boy. That's, that's literally how you get... Right? That's literally how you get your entire, like, arguments thrown out. Like... Get my what thrown out? Your case. Yeah. Your... Well, yeah, that too. But yes. Like, like the case wouldn't be thrown out because JK would just win. But like, in that, well, win with quotation marks. Is it wouldn't it like really be winning anything? But like just. I love. I. I find it very bizarre how hard we try to help Bright keep her YouTube channel up when she... Uh, well, okay, that too, but also her Twitch channel up when they when she doesn't try to keep it up. Yeah. Like, Freedom Bookworm, of speech. Bookworm is even in chat right now, saying you're... Trying to tell you you're still streaming. <laughs> right. Right. Freedom of speech, one, doesn't apply to you saying you're going to commit a crime. Two, doesn't apply to fucking which. It, did, did, did you, do you not know what a service agreement is? Maybe. Terms of service that you signed? You know that thing you signed? Maybe. The minute we joined the website, I did not read it. Well, granted, nobody reads it, but the point is, 
you still agreed to it, which means you still got to listen to it. And if you don't, then you're going to get in trouble. And if you get in trouble, then I am either going to A, pretend like I don't know you, or I'm going to acknowledge that I know you and just do nothing. Because self-preservation. Real talk, you'd probably have to switch over to streaming on YouTube. Probably mean that she gets like a whole whole lot of more like mm. Speaking of streaming to YouTube, I probably will never stream to YouTube again. Well if you wanna keep it that way then stop what you're doing. I, I have oh, my reasons because whenever I do an SCP game on it it always gets tons of copyright strikes and I could lose my channel, so I just... Then stop putting yourself in a position on Twitch where that would be your only option for income. Well, mm -hmm. additional income, but you get my point. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to get under there. I'm at the lowest of the low. Whatever. Go, I mean, go I can get. I can oh, there we get go. Oh, there. I just touched the bottom part here once, and I instantly clean it. And I accidentally cleaned something right over there. What the <laughs> fuck did I clean? <laughs> right. Do you know that you can see? There's yeah. like. Something you can bring up that you can like will show you what you're missing. Yeah, I can hit it. Okay, so the gas supply. What the fuck is gas supply? The 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 propane tank to the grill. Well let's oh, this thing. I wanna know, I never had a grill. You and the And again I break you. Once again, I swear to God, Bright just appeared out of nothingness in 2020. Bright was a portent to the apocalypse. But, uh, yeah, I got scared several times when playing Resident Evil 4 on my Switch. Like, every time the, um, regenerators would show up, I would just get instantly terrified and I would just put my switch down. And if you're wondering to yourself, wait a minute, didn't the switch come out very recently? Yes, yes it did. This happened in 2019, or 2020, meaning oh, yeah. that I was like... At the youngest, I was 18 years old, still getting scared shitless by games, when there's no reason to. I'm still getting scared shitless by games today. I don't get scared... <laughs> when I say get scared shitless, I mean <laughs> to the point where I literally just cannot continue and I just put it down. I don't mean the silly, the silly stuff I do, where I'll like scream or... um. Or I like to talk about how scared I am. Like, I'm talking about Resident Evil 8. Stop. Jesus Christ. I can't do this. What the fuck? What the hell happened? Um, it hmm? looked like someone donated. As to what, to where, and who, I do not know. Nothing happened on the road. Oh, that's what I scared the shit out of me, because for me, I heard it three times. I was like, what the fuck's happening? Jesus Christ, Bookworm. Oh, they do donated a bit to a, my, a new computer. I definitely didn't see the new thing you added. 
I would make I would make myself a throne, but literally no one would contribute to it, and if they did, I would be scared too because I can give you an instant referral code and you can instantly get started. No. Plus I'm afraid of stuff regarding like um taxes. I I have I don't know how that shit works. I have so many referral codes and I and I and I don't know who to give them to. I will think about it, but don't send them to me because I trust absolutely nothing that people send me over the internet. That's fair. Oh. It's not paranoia if there's an actual threat. <laughs> Choose a, a nut. Booker says, I definitely would. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Shush. Give Chew more money and things. <laughs> Give you more money. Do not give me uh, any money. Too bad, you're already getting some money. Mm. Thank you, Bookworm. Mm. So sleepy. Alright, uh, Bookworm, last words, go. I've been questioning whether or not I'm dedicated enough to Attack on Titan to go all in on the joke of getting a Levi body pillow. Do it. I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I would ever get a um a body pillow for the purposes of what I can only imagine most people buy body pillows for. Um well. I used to have a body pillow, but it was just like a standard one, but I needed it for health reasons. I have a body pillow. Well, Fortun actually, fortunately, I'll I don't just, it now. I'll probably just use it to cuddle. Actually, I'm like, yeah, I I'm was, just sleep well. Oh, sorry. I was actually gifted a body pillow. Like hmm, that's and cool. it was a Todoroki body pillow. Oh, no. Don't worry, there's no nudity or anything. It's just him sleeping and one of in his uniform. Man. Right, I would like you to take a few minutes to reevaluate the words that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the real issue is that it was Todoroki and not Mirko. <laughs> True. Honestly. Honestly, yeah, wait, you know what? No, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna say a word. <laughs> Though, if I was to get, like, so, if I so was she, to. She would get a Mirko body pillow then. Yep. So I think, like, doing just Attack on Titan, if I was to, like, get a body pillow, not for the memes, but because I want to have that character in my bed with me, it'd probably be Sasha. I would. I love Sasha. I would. I would choose Levi because reasons. Because short king can protect you. Oh wait, you think this is about protecting? Oh. Um. Right. Right. Never mind the kicking. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want to be kicked. What the hell? Well, that's oh. the first thing that reminds me. Just to see where he's kicking the shit out of Baron. <laughs> no, I don't want to be... Uh, uh, it's painful. Like, legitimately painful. Ew, you want to get bit, though. That's different. And the claws. That's also different. In what way? You can have claws and not have... I'm I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs>
like, comment, like, 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 Alright, uh, Chu, last words, go. Uh, support Bright, enjoy Resident Evil 4, um, and someone please teach Bright what fucking cartoons are. Yeah. Yep. I just saw the garlic toad. And it looks adorable. Why did you put garlic it. on a toad? No stacking the garlic toads, Bright. Yeah, no, we eat them. I'm sorry. What the fuck? No. <laughs> what? You monster. I would honestly, I would try fried frog legs at some point. I would. I probably would too. Uh, during last go. Sorry. But also, Bright's a monster. <laughs> I'm a pocket monster. <laughs> the inter interesting thing about that, I might, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got, I got like, I'm never gonna try them, pr mostly because of like, um, what have I said? The uh, oh, the Muppet movie, where like they had that like frog leg establishment thing. Yeah. I do not remember that. Anyway, last words, Adorna. Okay. So. You know what? We're going to be doing a different one this time. And we'll leave it to you. No. Make sure Bright learns what <laughs> cartoons are. And keep right from losing her fucking Twitch channel. <laughs> right, I didn't hear that last one. Right? Keep right from oh. losing her, her Twitch channel. <laughs> oh, y yes, please. <laughs> but wait, the only way to do that is just to 1984 bright 24-7. Oh, don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> that didn't last long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Anyway, hatch yeah, last words go. What was just said? Last I don't words know. go. I, I, uh, so you mean what I said? You mean? I'm just blah. Everything's blah. Okay, that's a question. Which is memeier? Getting a Levi body pillow or a colossal titan body? So I mean, one is, titan. one is physically hotter than the other. <laughs> <laughs> Book <laughs> says titan. That would be really funny. Just, just... Okay, I guess the second question from that is, would would I want to get Bertolt's or uh, Armin's? Armin's, it, fuck Bertolt. I mean, true, but also everyone in the story is kind of fucked morally by the end of it. Good point. Fuck all of them. That every everyone's everyone's a war criminal. Literally, everyone's a war criminal. Yeah, anyway, how'd your last source go? Uh, in the great words of me, everyone's a work for me. <laughs> I is a bird. Alright. Oh, wait, uh, wait. You know what, here's here's the final words. Uh, because I don't think Aderna was here. Uh, it's very important to let you know that Bright did a test to see what kind of monster girl Bright was. Oh my god. And she got Harpy. 
she died. Yeah. The the universe gave her a bird girl. Yep. That is fantastic. <laughs> I don't believe it. Girl. No, no, no. Excuse I, me. I believe it. I believe it. 100%. Anyway, uh, my last words are: Did you know that Dunkin' Donuts have uh, jelly brick jelly beans now? Based off of their coffee. Ew. It's okay. I won't buy it again, but but they're all right. I okay. I I just ew. We put the gelatin into the beans. (laughs) It puts the it puts the gelatin in the beans. If it wants a sandwich. Of course, there's a wait. No. Coffee beans. Just coffee beans. I <laughs> chew coffee beans for a living. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I hope to see you, Danger Noodles, at another time. Uh, where we may or may not have my friends uh, force me to watch cartoons against my own will. We're not doing <laughs> that on Twitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're listening. No, no. Anyway, Why do you want to reach out? We'll see you Why later, Danger Noodles.